Hello. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Nazan. This is the Lean of the Streams, and we're playing some more, as you can see behind me, the winds of change. If you wanted to see some big, beefy doggos, which I'm pretty sure most of them are, there's one rabbit who's not as beefy, but he is my boyfriend in the game, so we're dating. It's great. We've been on one date, and that's it. Also, uh, we've met a lot of new people. We are starting on a different part of the adventure. We're in a place called Alorinthia, and it is ruled over by dragons. There be dergs here. They they have one leader who's not quite so good, and another one who seems like he wants to change things. And the uh, the dilemma that we're facing is whether or not I'm going to do that. I'm going to change their world to help me. And I don't know how I feel about that. But I don't know if it's bad or not. So we're going to find out exactly what is the right move. Maybe. Or no, I already did that choice, didn't I? We are going to fight Pro. Pro is one of our guys in the team. He's been one of our boys all along. He's a, he's a, he's a smooth talking criminal who ended up on the other side of the fence. And now we're going to have to fight him, I think. Unless he is exact, like, I think he's trying to pull a fast one here. And it would fit his character for sure. So we're about to see what that's all about. But um, one thing I would say, I did I did post it in Discord. We are going to play some Phasmophobia tomorrow with Seam James Fox and some others. Should be a grand old time. We're going to get back to some ghost hunting. But if you aren't in Discord, you can be there Listen, by going here. only the cool kids join the conspiracy on Discord. So yep. I can see why you are not there. Just saying. Yeah, you know, only one way to change that. But uh, yeah, so we're going to get into the game. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, we might have to fight pro. Could be kind of scary. Who knows? Let's take a look. I think generally I am over here and we're going to get this thing on the road. It should be fun, though. Let's see what happens. There's that music again. It's so pretty. Uh, let's see. So I just need to go continue. So I'm pretty sure we're on this last one. That is correct. It is the latest save. Uh, so let's do it. So I have a purity of 50, a corruption of 20. Now, that's something I found kind of strange about the uh, choice we made. I decided to stick with the good, like the guys trying to change things because it seems like that's what they want in the world over there. But I got dinged for it. I got dinged for it. I got a corruption point. My morale is 20 and I've read 16 books. The good news is once we get back to the mainland, though, um, I could do some loyalty stuff. So we're going to get into this as quickly as I can. Why is that? Oh, there it goes. All right. Uh, we're in my room. I'm pretty sure I've done everything in here. Uh, so I think we are supposed to go somewhere else now. No. Unless I can go other places. That's true. I suppose I could. What is... Oh, that's for the fight. Okay. So let's go hang out, I guess. Let's go to the throne room. There's no... There's... Everything's done. Okay. So is there nothing left to do here? Maybe that's the case. Yeah. It looks like we're pretty well set here. So I think the only choice I have is to go to the battle and this is the thing guys oh i need to check on something make sure my sound quality here is good i need to make sure you hear things yeah okay that's set up exactly the way i want cool it's a little bit subtler on the music side maybe i'll turn that back up a little bit i think it's just the main like sequence that is the loudest part so all right but let's go do our fight, guys. Listen, I don't want to kill Pro. I don't want to do it. I don't think it's a bad. I don't think it's a good thing to do. I don't think Pro necessarily deserves this shit. Are my hands not working? Where'd that go? Oh, my hands aren't working. Is tracking off? No shit. Is that? Hmm, hold on. 
I didn't realize uh, hand tracking wasn't working. Are you in here? No device. The frick are you talking about? Is that better? There it is. I fixed it. My technical, my technical prowess shows yet again. You know, all you have to do is turn it off and then I can't move in my chair. <laughs> my chair won't move. Oh, there it goes. All right. Um, yes. All you have to do is turn it off and then turn it back on again. And it was perfect. It was perfect. It worked out great. But what I'm saying is I don't want to fight pro. He's a friend. He's kind of cute. Sometimes he's annoying, but you know, I don't want to fight him. I feel like bad about that, but it doesn't look like we're gonna have much of a choice here. So I'm going to go hang out with Vivian and see what happens. Uh, yes, let's go. Oh, I thought that's how you did it. All right. How do I get out of this? Nope. Do I? Uh, I'm here. This is where I am. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Unless I'm supposed to go here. There's nothing happening. I know, I know, I know. I, this is the problem about taking a week off, right? Because then you don't, they probably gave me instructions. And I don't remember what those were. Do I need to go back to the city? Let's see what that is. Yes. Yes, that's it. Because now I can go to the Coliseum. Now, let me go see if there's anything to do up here. It looks like we're good. Okay. Okay. That was it. That was it. So I'm going to save here because this is an important spot and I don't want to kill anybody. I don't want pro to die. I have no interest in that, but here we go. I have a private room in the Coliseum. Okay. So it looks like they want me to go outside. There we go. I make my way towards the Colosseum alongside Draku and some of his soldiers. It is a massive, towering structure, almost putting the castle to shame. It makes sense that it be bigger. Alorinthia was all about fighting. Well, here we are. Hi. If you head on inside, you'll find your allies. Okay. After that, you'll all be a. Hold on. I regret a move I made. Okay, you'll be escorted to a private room. I got so many private rooms, Draku. You'll have a few moments to prepare once you're in there. Okay. I'd say within the next hour or two, the battle will be over. They don't last very long if both sides have prepared enough. Okay. I don't think we did, but, um, you know, whatever. He crosses his arms and looks at me dismissively. You may wonder why I'm doing this, even though you sided against me. The answer to that is, it's in my nature to show my enemies some kindness. I do not kill in cold blood. I will mourn you and honor your memory, Monarch. Okay, I mean, we just met, so I if you die, I'll remember that scarf fondly. And uh, it will be something I will remember you by. Basically, that's it, though. It is a noble thing to die for your beliefs. Right. Perhaps your memory will inspire future generations. Generations that can go on to be killed, just like you. <laughs> that's a good plan. You know, all I've been thinking about my entire life is how I can have progeny, and then how they're going to die the same way I did. Hopefully, they have progeny as well. Uh, or future generations so that they can die. Uh, but that's usually how I go about things. It's like, man, I can't wait for the future so more people can die. That's weird. He steps forward, looking me dead in the eye. I do not expect to lose to Vivian. I've killed far stronger men than him. Okay. Some would call you foolish for your choice. Well, you know, I have been known to make bad decisions, but uh, for some reason, I think I'm right on this one. With a smile, he lets out a soft laugh. But I am not one of those people. 
As I said, I treat my enemies with kindness. Okay, you thank you. I realized it, but that's why I held the ball. But the ball is over, so I must find another way to be kind. And that is showing you a swift, painless end in the Colosseum. You wish to die for your beliefs. It would be my honor to aid you. Okay, I'm really kind of hoping not to, so, you know, uh, no plan on dying. And, you know, it's not really, like, my goal. I wouldn't say goal. But, uh, if that's how you want to play it, I appreciate the gesture. After saying these harsh words, he enters the Colosseum. I have no choice but to follow him, as the guards block any avenue of escape. There was no way we'd lose. We have Ulrich on our side. He's a match for Draco. Unless he says he isn't. Ooh, Savi. That's pretty much it, though. Uh, do I need to look at this? The Colosseum towers above me. It fits. It must fit thousands of spectators. From everything I've heard, every seat would be full when we started. I'm filled with anxiety and fright. Could I really perform under such scrutiny? <laughs> hey, man, performance and anxiety. We've all been there, man. We've all been there. Jojo, oh my god, it's a lean stream, and I know, right? I am magic. <laughs> what can I say? My magic knows no bounds. Uh, but anyway, I don't know if I could... I, I apparently, as the king, I'm apparently getting performance, performance anxiety. That's a problem. Okay. So the only thing to do here is to go see what you're up to, Savi. You had a rough day last time, so probably worth finding out. Yes, am I going to do Savi 10? Sure. Here we go. Happens to the best of us, right? Savi, he's on our ship. That's our ship. He stole our boat. Savi looks at the ocean, watching ripples and waves. He remains silent, attracting the suspicion of the captain. Approaching Savi, he attempts to converse to pass the time. It shouldn't be longer than a few more Ooh. hours, but I have to ask. He stole it. Why are we you weren't looking? He out. did. Who are you? You're adorable. Likey? Is it Lakey? Hi. It's probably better for you not to know. I don't want to involve people in my problems. I mean, you have this entire time. I'm not sure why you think that would be a thing. Involve away. What else are we going to do? You paid me tenfold to take you and you alone. How can you expect me not to question that? Sure. I expect you to do the job you're paid for. Anything else is unnecessary. I Don't like him. Agree? Definitely BF material. He could be. He could be. He, he's a very snazzy dresser and really like, I love the burnt orange look. It's very nice. Look, the way I see it, we're friends here. If you need a fairy man back, I'd love to help you out. Treat me with a cold shoulder and you could get stranded. That's a, is you, you threatening Sylvie? That's not a good idea. Is that a threat? Say, you shouldn't do that. Not a good idea. He may not take it well. And I don't think you want to find out what he'll do if that's the case. Of course not. I'm just curious. Here, let's start with the basics. What kind of work do you do? I really want Savi to be like, oh, you know, just this and that, you know, keeping busy. You know, like everybody else does. You already know what I do for a living. Don't you think he I does OnlyFans? He might. He courtesy? might. I don't care if you're breaking the law or anything like that. <laughs> you okay? The voice, though, <laughs> it's kind of like not really fitting him all that well. But that's okay. Lakey. Unless it is like the character's creator and that's their voice. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Also, Salvi pulling a crosshair. He might be a little bit. No, I'm not breaking the law, but honestly, I... I don't know how to answer your question. I guess you could say that I'm... between things right now. Oh yeah? Do you like being between things, Savi? I bet you do. I could see it in you. And why is that? And why is that? That's a personal question. I don't know if you want to answer that. I thought it was time to seek out better opportunities. You're a liar. That's a lie. You were fired, sir. You got 100% fired, sir. I know you've got tons of... Emotional damage! But you can't lie to us, okay? 
in Alorinthia? Exactly. There's probably some good jobs at a McDonald's or something in Alorinthia. To be honest, I have no idea. I just know some people who might be there. Talking to them should get things on the right track. Nah, his, his old job was just restructuring a little bit, a little bit. And what line of work are you in? Well, let's see. Is it restructuring? I guess you could say I nope. seek out information. Nothing pleases me greater than learning the truth. But the people I worked for were far less than honest. No, well, no, you seem to be misremembering. You, you lied to them. And that's why they kicked you out is because you lied to them. Sabi, you're not, you're not pleading your case very well. The work kind, the work kind. Lied to by your bosses? Join the club. They'll do anything to save face and get their way. That's part of why I work on my own now. I get you. I get you. I get you, Savi. We boys, we like that. You know, we're like that. I can't really do that with my fingers, but it's like, it's like that kind of, you know, like, like this. There it is. We're like that, Savi. Oh my God. Just like Cross already realized the empire is not in fact loyal. The captain scoffed, surprised at Savi's earlier hesitance. <laughs> is that what you were so worried to open up about? Trust me, almost everybody knows what that's like. I hope your next opportunity is more fruitful. We do like fruit. He also probably likes grapes or cherries, maybe some straws. I do like fruit. Uh, yay, Sylvie, we should start a pirate crew. Ooh, my parents, apparently my parents were pirates. Do you want to, I might have something in my blood. That could work. We can make it work. I can only hope. So what did they lie to you about? This guy is a busybody. Lakey, you got to calm down, buddy. You're being very busybody. No, you can. He are captain. Well, he is now. He is now. But I'm just saying, Lakey, you're pretty, pretty, um, pretty nosy there. Everything. No, you. Do you remember? I feel like Savi is having some memory problems. Does he not remember that he lied to them and then tried to get everybody else to lie to them, including Hayland, who he should have pretty much guessed was going to stab him in the back because he's been waiting to do that this entire time? I'm not going to intrude, but what's your life story? Seriously, he's like, yeah, you know, just uh, tell me your life story. Nothing biggie. No biggie. Then I can see why you'd run away. Excuse me? Excuse me. I just mean, it's totally understandable. Savi steps towards the captain, clenching his fists. He brings himself face to face as if trying to intimidate. I'm not running away. I'm doing what's right. The captain matches his gaze, taking one step forward. He didn't give in to Savi's intimidation. He was an even match. Sometimes running away is the right thing to do. Savi did a lot of lying. He did. That's true. They stare at each other until Savi backs away. Something was different. Normally, he would stand his ground, but no longer. He ser no longer served the triumvirate. He had nothing to prove. I'm sorry. You're right. I didn't mean to start something on your boat. Once we get to Alorinthia, you'll never see me again. Okay. What if we'll, we'll probably see you in one of these sequences, but he the might not. Streams is proud to support an ongoing donation drive right here on Twitch for the Lemur Conservation Foundation. If you want to support the stream in an awesome way and can afford it, check it out. To learn He's more, going through some things the link in a little bit at the lemur He is a little bit. There's no need to go that far. Don't misunderstand me. I've got your back. You're not the only man who's run away, you know. What did, where did you run away from, Lakey? I come curious. What's your deep, dark secret. Tell me all about it. Why else do you think I live at sea? Sometimes I don't <laughs> sit that? on land for what weeks. What was that? I prefer to be out here, where I live on my own terms. Like, at sea. <laughs> I loved it. I love that. That was great. All right. Free. Hmm? Free. As in free. You can't yeah, be free. No way to live. Imagine not being shackled by higher ups. You're fully capable of making your own decisions. Are you going to go 
you, Savi is about to be like, all right, I'm going to go become a YouTuber. Hopefully I can get some subscriptions. Lakey, you should join us on the overthrowing the government. No, but Savi's not, Savi's not trying to do that. He's going to go become a YouTuber. I could see Savi. Savi's got a pretty deep voice. He could like give, uh, he can give Markiplier a run for his money. Do some game streams. Let's see how it goes. Savi sighs and looks to the ground. It was his own decision that got him into this mess to begin with. But even through, the triumvirate wasn't pleased. He stood by his actions. He would be an awesome ASMR. I could see that. He's like, listen, guys. I, Savi, and I want you to die. But in the softest, kindest way possible. Now listen to my voice as I tell you all the ways I'm going to beat you up. I'm probably going to bunch you. I will ram you with my horns, and then I might kick you. And what will you do about it? Nothing. But aren't you relaxed? Doesn't that make you relaxed? I hope my Savi impression was okay. I don't think it was, but I did my best. That would be wonderful. I... I've been a subordinate for my entire life. I think it's finally time... Was perfect. ...that I carved my own path. All right, sounds good. You should do that. Oh, we're done. All right. I guess we're done here. Great. I shall do my own path. For I am Savvy. I would listen to all the ways Savvy would kill me while going to sleep. I will stab you in the chest with a very large knife. And you will say, that hurt. And I will say, probably. And you will say, uh, why did you do that? And I would say, because I'm evil. Always have been. Anyway, what am I doing? I'm going to the main atrium. <laughs> That's the plan. I enter the Coliseum. And quickly scan the area for my friends. The massive flame burns in the center of the room, making the heat even worse. Ooh, the Olympics? Oh, can I be a torchbearer? That'd be fun. I wonder why they do something like that. This place confuses me sometimes. Draco is nowhere to be seen. Perhaps he's already in the private room. I notice Valesa and Fortame and Hal standing far away from the flame. No sign of anybody else, though. I decide to approach them and ask what's up. They turn to me and smile, while Hal shows the face of complete indifference. I can't believe how cool this place is. Too bad I can't actually enjoy it. Oh my Super god. Stressed. I'm really worried that we might lose somebody today. Your attitude towards it, he's like, oh man, that would suck, right? <laughs> he's kind of like, man, wouldn't it be like kind of sucky if like someone died? I can't even believe it. Like I, I'm going <laughs> to... I just, I would just die. If someone died, I would die. It's just so horrible. Have we actually worked out who's fighting? No. Which of our members are joining Draku's reserve forces? The leader and the champion, we know, but what about everyone else? You. Definitely you. You got that bow. I could put Fortame in there, but he'll die immediately. We know this is true. If I put Fortame in there, he will literally die immediately. Do you want that, Valesa? Is that what you want? Is that how badly you wanted to be the elder? Because, listen, I understand you didn't get picked, but it's not that bad, okay? You're going to be fine. Howell steps forward. Ulrich fights with Vivian. Pro fights with Draco. Vivian's reserve forces are part of his own army. Draco's reserve forces will borrow from our army. Wait, so... I have to fight them too? Well, that's not fair. I don't like that at one bit. Crap. All right. That's cheating. I agree. We believe using our created seers will be the best idea. We wouldn't want to put any of our main members at risk. If we win, our allegiance will make this sacrifice worthwhile. 
Wait, you want me to sacrifice people? It is unfortunate that we will have to kill our own. But we cannot change what Pro has set in motion. All we can do is try to focus on taking Dracu's life. Great, let's do it. He looks at me. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Dracu is kind of a dick, but he's not like mean to me. He's actually been pretty nice to me, so I don't want to do it. As for Valesa's question, the monarch will fight among Vivian's reserve forces. Howell, we don't trade lives, just like Captain America said. Their beliefs. We might. No delegation at times like this. This means that several of our key members will be put in harm's way. Alrighty. It may be impossible for us to avoid the loss of our reserve forces, but we may be able to win without losing any of our comrades. We that must simply focus on the lives of Vivian and Draku. That seems like a bad situation. I got it. I, I feel like that's going to be a corruption thing, but we'll see. He crosses his arms, speaking sternly. It was more of a demand than a request. Do your best to kill Draku before any harm can come to Pro or Ulrich. We have the option to mitigate our losses, so we must take it. Okay, I might take it. Should probably make sure they know that, right? I'm gonna probably tell make them sure that. He knows what? Are we talking about the lemurs overthrowing the government or hey. bedtime ASMR fantasies? No, listen. Gotta keep the chat on their toes with all these wild conspiracies. Theo, nobody knows about that government overthrowing thing by the lemurs. You can't go throwing that stuff out there. People may be watching. So you'll be safe, Hal? Along with myself and Fortum? What about Domic? He ran off with Pro and Ulrich. Oh yeah, he did he? I don't remember him doing that. I suppose we'll find out. We should head to the private rooms and prepare. The battle will be starting in a matter of minutes. Well, that seems like we we might just want to go straight to the uh, fight because going to the private rooms would probably take too much time. Damic ran off with both the champions. That's odd. I guess they've been close friends for a long time though. Theo, don't worry, dear already know and it's my asmr fantasies about savi listen vren vren we haven't seen vren in a while he's the he was the other uh chatbot for a while and and theo are you uh are you uh you 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 and vren getting a little close in there is that what's happening i guess that must be the case perhaps he just wants a chance to say goodbye to them the odds of survival for everybody involved were less than stellar but there was nothing we could do Everything was put into place. Rest in Let's peace, Bryn. Let's go ask him ourselves, Monarch. This whole ordeal is kind of confusing. For a while, I was scared I'd have to fight. You might. I might still make you. I'm just putting that out there, Fortame. I might make you. Because I really just want to give you like a big ass spear and then see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, same. You should, Fortame. I was really worried. And now I feel bad that I'm just going to watch. <sighs> this whole situation is so messed up. You're right. It totally is. But the thing is, guys, if you just don't suck at it, you'll be fine. You're going to be fine if you just don't suck at it. Which I can't... I can't 100% guarantee that's going to be the case, but we're going to do our best here. It is less than ideal, yes. But we cannot change our circumstances. Let us gather together for last minute preparations. Alrighty, I'm in. Do you want to get some snacks? We could get some Pringles. That might be a yummy, yummy way to go into our last moments. Only by preparing for the coming storm can we avoid tragedy. Alrighty. If we stand here any longer, the odds of losing our comrades will grow. Do not let the enemy get the upper hand. That has happened enough. What are you trying to say? Are you questioning my leadership, Hal? I feel like you're questioning my leadership. He points to a nearby staircase. That must lead to the private room. Yeah, I don't want to fight to the death on my empty stomach. No, you want some Pringles before. If there's a pre-fight snack out there, I would definitely go Pringles. So <laughs> maybe sour cream and onion. That might be a good way to go. They do have uh, like spicy Pringles, but they're not that spicy. So I don't know if that would help. Also, it's hot out there, so I'm not sure that's a good idea. Yeah, everything was happening so fast. I could use a few moments to plan. 
One team, one last team huddle before the fight would help. We need to minimize our losses. We need to make it through this without losing Pro and or Ulrich. If such thing is even possible, then we will find out how to do it. And if not, well, I don't, I honestly don't know what to, I do. I don't want to, ooh, I got things. Stuff and things. Oh, it's a moment with Howl. It's also kind of a moment with these two. Hey, Valesa? What's up, buddy? Yeah? What's up? I saw you dancing with the monarch. Uh-oh. I've created a problem. Uh, I didn't know you saw that, Fortame. Uh, listen, I didn't know you saw that. It meant... I want to say it meant nothing, but I don't know. And are you two a thing now? Are we? Oh, no. I love it's more than that, Jojo. I think the problem is it's like a at this point, it's like a love octagon. So I don't know. Does it matter? It you know, we're dating me and the bunny. So it probably does. I might be in trouble here, guys. Uh, okay, hold on. Listen, this is, listen, you guys, uh, -oh. uh, this could be a problem. No, I was just curious. Really, as you know, we're already dating. I just figured it'd be my business too. Yeah, we're all dating. Everybody's dating. I planned it this way. Well then, I guess we are. It was also in the moment. I guess we can work out specifics later. Yes. You can have me on Mondays. I would say four tame Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then Ulrich, whenever the hell he wants. Are you going to say no to that guy? I don't think you will. So we'll just go Sounds with that. Sounds good to me. This is pretty awesome, isn't it? Nothing can tear the three of us apart. Our parents would be proud. <laughs> Could you imagine if our parents were still alive and being pirates and we walked up to them and said, everyone is dating, all of us. You're going to be the grandparents of whoever the fuck and whatever the fuck is happening at that moment. Are you proud of us? Thank you. Yeah, I guess you're right. No matter what, we're always together. Malanorth, Mazeo, Alarenthia, and... Oh, we're just going to go up to you and carry you away. And everyone's going to be like, hey, it's my... Ah, never mind. It's your day now, Ulrich. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm the final attack. I just hope we all survive it, don't you? I hate to get close to both of you and then lose you. I, th I feel like every time Fortame gets serious, it comes off so casual. <laughs> That I'm like, I don't know how seriously he takes this stuff. Well, I have no intentions of dying for it, Tim. I'm just worried about the monarch, though. The stress that this quest is bringing me is unreal. I can't even imagine being the one in charge. To rule this world after the war is over? Hopefully I can help make it easier. Yeah, you can. You can do it yourself. I'll just give you the job. You could be Queen Valesa. I'll go run off with Ulrich and, and we'll bring Fortam along with us and that'll be a good time. Queen! All hail Queen Valesa. Yeah, same. That's my main goal in all of this. We're all a team, so we need to help each other out. I'll have your back as long as you have mine, Valesa. Great. Well, that literally could happen. Like, literally. Are you guys prepared for that? Just saying, literally could happen. Of course. And then we can both protect the monarch. We'll all be looking out for each other. Totally unstoppable. I can picture the triumvirate quaking in their boots right now. Do they wear boots? Do they wear boots? Jojo, do you know if they wear boots? I don't know if they do. They seem more like sandal people to me. <laughs> yeah, we'll take them down no problem. So what do you say? Together until the end? Yeah, sure. Why not? Until the end. Okay. Which could literally be like right now because everybody could die. Awesome. I don't think they do. Awesome. See, he's trying to be serious right now, but then he goes, awesome. Awesome possum. 
All right, that was a good good talk, I guess. Uh, well, let's take a look at this fireplace. The blame burns super bright, and the heat fills the entire room. I notice a bunch of paper burning at the base of the fire. A few people who walk by throw some more paper in. What are they doing? I have no idea. Why would I know that? Oh, yes. We read about this in a book. They write who they support on a piece of parchment. When they throw it in, the flame continues to burn. So the flame is only burning during matches? Yes. Their desire for change is the catalyst. All right. They light these flames with their hope for the future. It is anonymous too, so you can support whoever you wish. After the battle ends, the flame dwindles and turns to ash. A clean slate for the victor. That is what this symbolizes. Thank you, Hal. You're so informative. You're like... That's pretty cool. You're like Encyclopedia Britannica, help? but walking and talking. And it's my favorite thing. Uh, Want to get some parchment, Hal? I support myself. Sad Panda is sad. What's going on? How are you? How are you? I support myself. I write on there, me, with like 18 E's. And that is the end of that sentence. Sure. If you would like to partake, we can see if the victor lines up with our wishes. I feel like, do you guys know I'm here? Because we're going to be fighting and, and I don't want to kill you. But if you guys write yourself or somebody else, it's going to be sure kind of bad. So. All right. They better pick me. Otherwise, I'm going to be kind of kind of pissy and mad and I'll be like what's that this door leads to the private rooms where we're supposed to prepare and I'm just sitting here looking at fire doing good enough getting ready for bed but wanted to hang out well that's awesome I'm glad to have you here we're playing funny furry games kind of but mostly serious kind of I could I use the blade of exodus in combat do they even know what that is I have no idea I don't even know what it is I kind of know what it is. What's over here? This door leads to the private room. <laughs> it's the same thing. All right, whatever. Let's do the Howl thing because Howl usually puts me in a good mood because he's usually such a positive guy that uh, I imagine he's going to really cheer us up right now and really build us up. Howl stands in the middle of the Coliseum lobby. Staring deep into the flames, it looks like he's lost in thought. He's whispering to himself, but I'm unable to discern his words. He's really not into optimism. Oh, Winds of Change, it's on my playlist. Yeah, it's it's actually pretty good. Uh, I played Coma Rebbe before it, uh, and I'm, it's kind of funny because like, I think I play him in the wrong order, but it's good. It's good. It's good. I take slow, cautious steps towards him, curious as to what he's doing. But, like always, he reacts before I can initiate the conversation. We knew you'd be there, Monarch. Nason. It says right there. Uh, never mind. I take a few steps back and cross my arms. He turns to face me and looks me into it looks into my eyes. A few steps backward, as always. But away from what? Do you fear us? No, you mustn't. You still choose to talk with us. Right. You're back to your old ways of being a, 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 a talker who likes to say weird things. You like to speak in riddles. Join us, and we shall look into the flames together. Like our vision, it is always changing. Okay. Never the same. We've thought about this a lot since we talked on the boat. Which one? I don't remember what we said. What did we say on the boat? It's like he's, I know we're, we're uh, Classic move. The old, I know you were I mean, walking you were over here, routine. right? It's like predicting the next plot twist in a poorly written fanfiction. The chat conspiracies are everywhere. What's next? Vryn's secret crush on a squirrel. Stop picking on Vryn. What did he do to you? And what squirrel? Who's this squirrel you're referring to? Because <laughs> I want to know. He turns back to the face the flames and I stand by his side. Together, we look into the flames, with the heat assailing us. It almost feels un almost unbearable at first, but I soon get used to it. I know what you're feeling, Monarch. We felt the same when our vision first went astray. But now, we find ourselves asking, is it actually astray? I don't know. I don't remember our conversation. Seeing both the future and the past. Ooh, Theo's spilling the tea, right? Brutal. He's really... Really revealing everything. Battle, but also Vivian, 
We see Pro fall, and Ulrich fall. We even see a future where you fall. You say, you say he's always lifting me up. He's always making me feel better. He's always looking on the bright side of things. Instead of seeing only ahead, we see in every direction. It is almost like a natural evolution to the power we hold. If we can learn to control this, it would be a tremendous boon. I do like boons. Classic Hal. Yeah, he's doing it. Big, bouncy boons, Hal. We all love them. The same goes for the visions of the past. Different outcomes, different information, secrets revealed. What if we could search these alternate paths for information? Go Let for it. Look at the attack on the Rebel HQ in Mazio. Perhaps a past exists where Domic found out about it. Not useful now, but I think you see what we're suggesting. No. It makes sense. He's seeing alternate visions of the past. Perhaps vision exists where information comes at a light early. If he could learn to control his powers, it would help us tremendously. For example, what if past exists where we didn't bother with Alorinthia? He could search through memories of our attack on Baltaeus and glean information. Perhaps we've even made it far enough to learn the Triumvirate's true identity. But unless he could control his power, it would be useless to speculate. It hurts my head just to think about it, but I've been, I've seen alternate uh, futures firsthand. I have to consider the possibility of an alternate past as well. It just stands to reason. What if there was no real explanation for her either, so both were oddities? The old monarchy had the power of visions, but where did they come from? How will turn to face me, the flames illuminating his differently colored eyes. We wish to try to master this ability before the final battle. If we can gain any useful information, it would aid our attack on Baltius, especially if it can help us uncover any traitors within our ranks. Do you have reason to believe that? Or are you just saying traitors? The more we think about it, the more it makes sense. In the Rebel HQ, you were as lambs of the slaughter. The oh, I know where they come from. Me, well, I don't yet, but we'll find out. The triumvirate must have been tipped off somehow. So you're saying someone is a traitor. Huh. I mean... I can't think of who that would be. Rest assured that if there is a traitor, we will find them. After that, their fate and punishment is yours to decide. It is unlikely that Shane is the only turncoat among you. Man, who could it be? Because they are making it sound like that. You know, the thought fills me with fright, but they are making it sound like somebody is. If it's Fortame, I'm going to be so disappointed in that bun bun. I'm going to be so disappointed. I'm just telling you right now. Even walks along the path of disloyalty, siding with Draco, and making things more complicated. We will keep a closer eye on him. He's most suspicious. So much betrayal. Betrayal! I, you know, it's, it's sad. I must admit, Pro's actions did confuse me. I still think there's a chance Pro is pulling a fast one and trying to gain an advantage here. I kind of get the feeling that might be the case. In fact, everybody in Alorinthia confused me. Fortame did it for more climbing spots? Probably. Maybe someone said, like, unlimited climbing in certain areas, and he was like, hell yeah. They treat the Colosseum business like it's afternoon tea. Like, all of this death is just a daily occurrence to them. At least keep them, um... At least keep them introverted. The Triumvirate would like that. They focus on fighting themselves, would be less inclined to rebel. There is more to this story than we know. We hope that in the end, an alliance is formed. We would prefer to leave this nation as soon as possible. Okay. An endless cycle of death, creating strength. Each leader falls to someone stronger than themselves. Through death and sacrifice, Alorinthia gains power. Uh, Howell, if there was a traitor, wouldn't the Triumphant attack us here? That's true. Although, maybe that's why they... Maybe that's why they sent Savi off, because they knew he would do this. Maybe that's it. 
Did you think of that? You prefer to gain power through other means. When you rule this world, monarch, please consider this. Do not walk down a path similar to the Triumvirate. Well, I'm going to be in the same place as them, like the castle, so it's going to be kind of hard to avoid. Because, like, you know, if I walk down the hall, you have to assume at some point one of them did that, too. If I'm in, like, the king's chambers and I take a piss in, like, I guess a chamber pot in this world. Do you think they use chamber pots here or do they have toilets? I can't remember. Um, but you got to think one of the triumvirate did that, too. So I'm going to be like, surprise, motherfucker, and stab you. <laughs> I want him to do that so bad. Could you imagine Savi come in here and be like, surprise, motherfucker, and then just like, ah. <laughs> the occupation was a prime example of their nature. I want this they to be true. They to gain strength to ensure they rule. It would pain us to see you become like that. It truly would. It would pain me too. He stares at the sword on my back. Because you may follow after them without even knowing it. For now, that is all we have to say. There are no other concerns. Next time we talk, perhaps more will have come to light. And Depends on how far back is long you. as it's better than Buckingham Palace back in the day. Well, I don't know why. I'm sure it was okay. I don't know much about it. He steps away, taking his hint. I can see how mastering his new visions would be helpful. But if any traitors are revealed, that would be devastating. There, these were alternate anywhere? paths. Even to the moon for a romantic picnic under the stars. Ooh, people Let would just guess. go anywhere. With Vryn being socially awkward. What is with your, what do you want Vryn about fridge. today? Chaos in the conspiracy. Damn, Theo, what is your thing about Vryn today? You've been talking non-talk about that poor burb. Uh, depends. Uh, people would just go in. Oh, okay. So it's just where they went. You know, wasn't that, I feel like probably, I mean, I guess at some point, what if somebody is a traitor only in some far off past? We could end up pushing somebody innocent and loyal. His words were cryptic as always, especially about cycles. I knew I'd wield the triumvirate's blade, but I'm not like them. This is cycle of death and tyranny would end by my hands alone. Theo just jealous of Ren? He might be. You never know. You never know. I look back over my shoulder and he's still staring into the flames. Every time I talk to him, he tells me something new about his powers. As we approach our final battle, however, he'd be more rushed than ever. If we were, if there were any secrets to be learned, I trust that he could do it. But as always, a few major questions find themselves at the top of my list. Who was the triumvirate? Why did they require purity? Are there any traitors? Y'all see, all it takes is one bad day, just like the Joker says, apparently. It seemed that how would be the key to solving all these mysteries and more. The power that he saw as a curse was now turning into a bountiful source of hope. That was the miracle of changing views. Our, cur our curses and our faults become strengths. And if there's anything that would carry us to victory, it would be finding that inner strength. Okay, I feel like, though, all I can say is, is Howl, you know, I'm just saying Howl isn't the most talkative and I don't feel like I'm doing a great job of uh, you know I don't feel like I'm doing a great job of romancing him only the cool kids join the conspiracy on Discord. I don't think I am so I can see why you are not there just saying alrighty let's go to my private chambers shall we in a private the, the private room is small and cozy there's no bed I'm not sure what you mean by cozy. There's literally it. It there's no bed. One lone window provides a view of the arena. We're all able to fit inside without too much discomfort. Domic seems to be meditating, or med mediating an ar ar <laughs> can't speak. Ah, Domic seems to be mediating an argument between Ulrich and Pro. They look in my direction as I enter, but quickly get back to business. Given the circumstance, it made sense that Ulrich and Pro were at odds. 
Stop being so stubborn, Ulrich. We can do this without killing each other. Just don't worry if I if he That's keeps flirting with Hal, it'll work eventually. All right, I'll just keep I'll just keep like getting him. It's like it's it's flirtation by mosquito bite is what it is. I don't think you heard me the first time. There's nothing I won't do to secure victory. Ouch, bro, you guys, you guys need to calm down. He takes a heavy steps towards Pro, backing him up against a wall. That means if I have to kill you, I will. And there's no way you're going to convince me otherwise. All right, you guys. Of my nation. Just kiss and make it better. Seriously. Solve problems? That's some next level therapy session right there. <laughs> Maybe a smooch will fix all the conspiracy drama going on. Right? Who needs a plot twist when you have a good old makeout session, right? Time to turn up the steam. Bam. Theo with the win. I love it. You two make out. Everything will be fine. You know what I mean? He steps away, having made his point. Domic interferes, getting in the way of Ulrich. Look, we can figure something out. There's no need for either of you to die. I'll be fighting down there too, so... Ulrich quickly cuts him off. Stop controlling everything, Domic. This isn't even your army anymore. You need to start acting that way. But... No, this army belongs to the monarch. Have He's the, the hottest sloppiness makeout session. Besides, exactly. Like that is against the rules. My goodness. Planning like that is against the rules. What rules? We haven't... Nobody's told us the rules. Also, you're being very aggressive right now. I feel like you need to back off a bit. Like, he's being a little aggressive, don't you think? It's a fight to the death. No matter what. Conspiring to prevent that displays a lack of honor. I may want to overthrow this tradition, but I won't mock it. All right. He tilts his head towards Draco, who stands in the corner of the room. Mutual respect. That wasn't something I expected, Ulrich. Croxius, what's going on? How are opponent. you? It almost makes up for the attempt at crashing my ball. Yeah, me too. Did you crash? Wait, who crashed? He smirks, a sinister look on his face. But it doesn't mean I'll go easy on you. Where is Vivian, by the way? Did he run? I don't know. He doesn't look like a guy would do that. Tired? How's it going? Oh, I can understand that. Uh, I've been a little bit sleepy today, but seem to be doing okay. But I'm sorry you're feeling tired. Hopefully you're doing all right and you can persevere or go to bed. Either one's good. I like a good sleep. I've always been into it. Uh, don't do it as much as I would like to, but what can you do? No, he's in a separate room. Something about meditating before the fight. I leave him be until it's time to do this. Alrighty. Speaking of which... There it goes. Imagine sleeping. Imagine. If the battle is starting soon, then some farewells may be in order. He looks at Pro as his words were some sort of threat. Of course, I didn't mean to intrude. As soon as you're ready, we will begin. I'll be in the lobby while I wait for you all. Okay, thank you. You're so polite for a guy who wants to kill us right now. Draku, why you why you bothering Ulrich? I think Ulrich's just bothered in general. Soon after, we're left alone, just me and my comrades. A tense feeling permeates the air. Things were different now. Even if Ulrich and Pro survived, a riff had grown among our ranks. Our ranks. And at this time, I'm unsure if I could mend it. I gulp as I wait in silence and wait for someone to speak. It's Pro. He seems to be acting pretty sensible right now. Okay, so let's go over this situation before the fight begins. We need to make sure we understand exactly what's going down. The upcoming alliance will ensure our attack on Balteus hits hard. I'm fighting alongside Draku as Draku may champion. be a bad guy, but he's the not a over, bad guy. Sure, he's not a villain. Combat. No, I don't think he is. Our reserve forces will consist of the created seers. All right. Draku and his champion fights over whether me or myself fall in combat. Our reserve forces will consist of created seers. On the other hand, Ulrich is fighting alongside Vivian as his champion. The monarch will fight in Vivian's reserve forces alongside his army. It may not be as strong as Draku's, but Vivian isn't about strength. If Draku wins, the nation will stay exactly the same. But if Vivian wins, he will lead Alarinthia in a new direction. Hopefully, one that allies itself with the new monarchy. Right, that's me. 
that's me pro don't forget to point at me and say your highness that's you he crosses his arms someone will die here today either vivian draku myself or ulrich but these deaths will not be in vain well we don't know that yet the story is yet to be written they will give our army incredible strength their lives will help us reshape this world or mine i'm ready to die for this too okay let's not go too crazy here we wouldn't stand a chance if we attacked balteus on our own an alliance is necessary and this is the best way we can get it one life taken here today is worth it to change all of Alestia. To finally take this world back from the Triumvirate. You must simply hope that the Monarch made the right choice. If there even Wait, is that right choice makes it plural, Pro. Are you and Ulrich going to kill each other? I hope not. For example, I don't want that. That would suck. Vivian isn't guaranteed. If Draco wins, he won't offer us his men. We sided against him. It's a good possibility, given his reputation in the Colosseum. Pro is really checking, taking charge here. It's impressive. And about sums it up. Me, Ulrich, and the Monarch need to go to the arena. Everyone else will be given seats to watch us fight. Fun. Did you get them tickets? Get some popcorn, guys. We're about to watch each other fight. Except I'll be down there fighting. Me. Definitely me. I will 100% down there be like, hey ya hey ya I'm gonna, hey ya With my, it's not, hey ya It doesn't look that good. But we're gonna do it. If this is the last time I see you all, then goodbye. Goodbye. It was an honor serving you. All right. Fighting for freedom. I can only hope that you gain that freedom in the end. Okay, this is, you realize this is your fault. Make sure to cheer me on. Yeah, please cheer me on, everybody. You realize you did this to yourself. Unless you are, you have a plan here, which he might, but I don't know. He stops talking and stands in the corner of the room, saying nothing. But Lessa and Fortame are nodding as they understand the situation. I can tell they were confused before, so his explanation definitely helped. I don't have much to say. Bro, just don't I just die, I know. I'm not very good at farewells either, so I won't waste your time. Good luck in the future, all of you. I hope to see you again. Yeah, me too. I hope you don't die. Please don't, please don't die. He gives us all a slight bow before re retreating into the other corner. It leaves me, Howl, Domic, Valissa, and Fortame. The created seers are already waiting by the arena. I have asked I'll so much of these people. <laughs> so we can watch you fight. Uh, I guess it's on you now, Monarch. Head to the arena. I feel like we are asking so much of these people we made into seers. Because they got the they got really shafted that was not in their contract Ulrich I would tell you not to die but you're too badass for that he might be although they could throw a big plot twist at us you never know do you really need to rush into it like this can't you take some time to prepare and train when did you think that was going to happen it's a freaking arena battle they're not going to be like oh yeah take like a month and get ready like when you're back and you got your like five pounds of muscles on you then uh, you're ready to go. But I don't think they're going to do that. That would be impossible. Alabrinthia takes these battles very seriously. Delaying it would insult the honor of all participants. Yeah, see, you were wrong. You may be, we may be dating, but you're not doing this right. Just give you some prep time. They're like, yeah, go get some breakfast. Take a month to train. Whatever you got to do, come back in a month. You'll be fine. Screw honor then. I'm not ready to say goodbye just yet. There's still so much we need to do. Like what? Like climb? I shake my head. There's no point trying to delay this. Whatever happened, happened. It wouldn't be the tipping point. Then don't say goodbye. Simply hope that he survives this battle. Cheer him on from the sidelines. Support him. Yeah, be my be my cheerleader. Wear a cheerleader's outfit. And do some cheers for me. I really want you to do that. That would be great. You would look great in one. I guarantee it. I guess that's all we can really do. Things will work out for the best. I know it. We're due for some good luck by now. Maybe a little bit. 
Should we go take our seats? Go find your seats. You got to make sure you get the best ones. Yeah, we probably should. Monarch, good luck. That it may be the first time someone said Monarch and it actually said that. <laughs> he smiles at me before leaving the room. I guess not treating this as goodbye helped them. I want to see Fortame in a cheerleader's outfit. Me too. I hope they do that. That would be great. Could you imagine back there? He's like, go, go, go. Uh, they'd be seeing us all again. I wish I can guarantee that. I really do. Valesa, Fortame, Howell soon follow suit. I'm left here with Ulrich and Pro. They're silent. There's no point in bickering at the gates of death. Perhaps they've simply accepted what's coming. The battle would start when I enter the arena. The battle that decided the fate of our nation. And by extension, the fate of our entire world. This is the first time I felt the weight of my role. I'm the monarch. I'm shaping a world that I'm going on to rule. Also, make sure they get the front row seats because blood splashes. You're right. You got to make sure you're in the splash zone. You got to make sure you get in the splash zone. That is, if I survive the battle in the Colosseum and then in Baltius. It was time to take charge. I'd go to the arena and I would end this. Whether I lived or died, I'd make my mark upon this world. Oh, but also I should do some conversations beforehand because that makes sense. There might be a book in here somewhere. I found a book in here somewhere. There's a book and a sword sitting here. Between the two, the small dagger rests there. I go to touch it, but Pro quickly stops me. Hey, don't touch that! It's mine! Okay, I'm sorry. Try to use it during the upcoming battle. Never touch a weapon that's not your own. Wow, just you gonna jump down my throat like that, Pro? And I was gonna date you. I apologize and set my sights on the book. It seems to be about the Grand Library in Balteus. Why was it here? Was somebody studying it? The Grand Library. Located in Balteus, the Grand Library is something of an anomaly. While many say it contains literature about Alestia's entire history, nobody has it's ever a poison dagger? Set foot Maybe. inside. Rumors of a mysterious man I could see him doing that. the books are rampant. Could such a collection really be under the watch of one individual? Furthermore, what are the books actually about? He doesn't about? want you getting poisoned. Members of the I wouldn't want to get poisoned either. I'm not going to lie. Nobody but this mystery man enters the library. Mystery man. Just mystery what is the man. Protecting. Does whatever a mystery can. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. That was a really short book. Uh, Let's see if there's anything in here. All right, let's go talk to Pro after he just jumped down my throat so hard. Yeah, it's being watched by a guy called Jeff. It might be Jeff. If it is Jeff, it's in good hands. We know that. Access Pro Heart to Heart 4. You just jumped down my throat so hard. I don't know uh, if I want to do this, but we'll go ahead and do it anyway. I approach Pro, who remains standing in the corner of the room. It looks like he's scared or nervous. But that's understandable. In mere moments, we'd be fighting for the future of our army. In a moments after my step come to an end, or my steps come to an end, Pro looks at me. A sorrow appears on his face, and it looks like he's filled with regret. Look, I'm sorry for making things complicated. I've been getting looks from everybody. They, they hate me. I put my life at risk and foolishly offered our own army. We need that army for our final attack on Balteus. Everybody thinks I've condemned us to death, but it's not true. This situation is super complicated and their vision is so narrow. Okay, now you're placed, you're, you're deflecting a little bit, but that's okay. I wish this didn't have to happen right now, especially after that moment we shared on the boat. I'm guessing that this is it for us, isn't it, Monarch? No, not necessarily. We could be friends. Maybe. Of course not. I forgive you, Pro. Oh. Okay, yeah, Pro. I'm afraid this is it. Of course not. I... I under... Okay, so here's my thing. Either he's trying to pull a fast one, he has a plan, or, like, he genuinely thought this was the best route, and he was trying to do the best thing he could. I don't agree with him, if that's the case, but um, I'm going to forgive him, because I think he's trying to do the right thing. He's a good, you're a good boy. Who's a good boy? 
Who's a good boy? Wait, seriously? <laughs> Can't be like Thank betray you. me is so hot. That would be a good oh, one. So I wish. I cut things off. I really value our bond, Monarch. Me too. Okay. Well, you know, listen. You you just yelled at me about your freaking dagger. He is being cute. That is a good picture, though. You sided with Vivian, so this was a total gamble. It's good Malchus. to know that we can endure a difference. All right, in maybe. Ulrich wasn't giving me the same courtesy. I think he'd even kill me. He might. He might. He seemed like he might. Now, I hope he doesn't. And I'm going to really hope this doesn't turn out badly for anybody, but we're about to find out. But I guess I can understand why he'd do that. This isn't just about an alliance to him. This is his home. He very well might. He wants to change it for the better. Like we all do with Alestia. Correct. Also, you did kind of stab him in the back, kind of, like figuratively by joining this side. I think that you, you might understand that. I know this whole situation is really confusing. To be honest, I don't even know every little detail. But as long as we all trust each other, it'll work out. Yeah, Ulrich might kill you. I just want to say there's not... I mean, he may trust you, but you can trust him to kill you. So I guess that is pretty good trust. We'll go with that. He takes a few steps, closing the distance between us. His eyes are filled with hope now, a stark contrast to moments ago. Thank you so much, Monarch. Mason. I know there isn't much time, so we need to get going. Okay. But that's all I needed to talk about. I'm good to go. Okay. I'm good to go, too. I'll be over here in, in the go zone. You know where that is, right? Over there in the go zone. He wraps his arms around me and rests his head against my shoulder. Oh, that's cute. We'll make it through this. Maybe. I know it. You may not understand, but I promise you will. Okay. Just give it time. I know I'd happily give you all of mine. Oh, wow. Why is it with this voice actor, it's always like the heavy conversation like this? Is it because he does it well? Because he does do it convincingly. I think I had a clip where like the same voice actor in Coma Rebbe and his character there had like this moment where he went really deep on like the relationship stuff. And it was very, it was really, it was really strong and very good at it. Whoever Is someone feeling all warm and fuzzy inside from me all the too. drama and chaos? Embrace the AWWS, my little <laughs> lean toy. Oh it's my. like witnessing a soap opera unfold, just with more fluff and sparkles. True. Lots of it. All right, pro. Woo me. Woo me. After this battle, we'll have a long chat. There's so much I need to tell you, but I just can't right now. Okay. I promise that at the end of the day, this will all make sense. We are not wrong. Yeah. He smiles and runs off to the lobby. I guess it was time we'd finally do this. I'm thankful that our bond remains intact. Okay. Bro's loyalty scene will be available when you return to the mainland. After conclusion of Act 4, return to Rebel HQ and the war table. All right. Nope. Okay, I think that's everything in here. Pro just literally stab Ulrich in the back. It just would be very dramatic. It would be, or bad for Domic. It would be. Domic would take it more harshly. Okay, so I'm going to save this here. Uh, and then we're going to go in to do this. Hopefully, I'm ready for this, guys. Hopefully, I'm ready for this. Hopefully, I've made the decisions. Because uh, if people die, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's going to be a big bummer. I don't know what I'll do. Ow. Dennis, ow. Okay. Everybody. Put your fingies together. Cross your fingies. Nobody dies. We don't want nobody to go dying now. Nobody needs to do that. Visit the Coliseum will cause a long series of cutscenes to play. Doing so will also conclude your visit to the region of Alorinthia. Knowing this, would you like to continue to the Act 4 finale? Yes, sir. You're going to make me nude? In the battle? What kind of show do you think this is, Jojo? What kind of battle do you think we're doing right now? It's not that kind. Goodness me. I mean, it is hot out, so maybe that is for the best. That's not the arena. That's the lobby. I entered the lobby with Overkin Pro behind me. 
Our comrades are there, and they immediately turn and stare. The good kind? Maybe. An odd aura fills the air, but this is definitely, this definitely is an odd situation. Vivian stands on one side of the room. Ah! Oh no, someone gave me the peed! Someone gave me the peed! Goodness me, that actually was louder than I thought it would be. But goodness, we are getting to that surreality. Uh, what am I saying? Oh, Ulrich follows me as I take steps towards Vivian, and my ally in this battle. If I wanted to win, I'd have to ensure that him and Ulrich stayed alive. So it's finally going to happen. You're right. I've been dreaming about this day for a long time. Okay. Do your best out there, Monarch. I've got your back. Well, actually, technically, I think we have yours, because if you die, then it's over. So it doesn't matter what I do. So I don't think we got your back. I think I, you've the other way around. Of course, I have How long, though? about that blade you're carrying. So if you don't mind, I might choose to lean on you for support, too. Right. If we all take care of each other, then we'll be unstoppable for sure. Fair. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I nod, since he's right. We need to make our way to the other side of the Colosseum. Okay. Both groups start on opposite ends and meet in the middle. That's where all the chaos ensues. It'll be pretty hectic. I'm counting on it. It's been ages since I've seen a real battle. Do your best to stay out of danger, Monarch. Leave this to us. There's no need for you to risk your life unless you need to. I don't think that's gonna... Okay. Our targets are Draco and Pro. We should do our best to avoid senseless casualties. Vivian's reign should begin with as little should bloodshed we, as possible. Should we, uh, so we should wait by the edges. Yeah, I should just hang out by the door and just be like, you guys got this, right? Ain't no reason for me to go in there. I'm pretty sure the crowd would not be happy with me if I did that, though. I nod and watch as Vivian and Ulrich shake hands. It's a bit of a walk, so let's get started. All right. The battle will start in a few minutes, so we need to be there. Some leader I'd be if I showed up late to my home fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be pretty sad if you did that. Also, can you take your mask off? I feel like I want to see your face. I do kind of want to see their face. I bet they're cute. I kind of want to see it. He smiles, and we break our huddle. I follow him as we make our way to the gates. The weight on my shoulders is immense and frightening. I knew I noticed Dracor, or Drachior, made his way to my side. He looks me up and down, staring at my blade. Look, I don't know if what they told me was true, but if that blade is some yeah, sort of Yeah, people wouldn't like that. Relic, Probably not. Don't showboat. Anything other than strength and strategy will be seen as cheating. Riz him up, GG. I don't think he's risen me. I don't think he's risen me. He's telling me don't use the powers of my blade, which I don't even know if I know how to do, so... That blade may have powers to help you out in Maltius, but not here. Do your best to blend in as a regular combatant, all right? I don't want you putting Vivian in jeopardy out there. What are you trying to say? Do you think I'm going to cause problems? You're right, but you didn't know that. I shrug since I don't really have a say in the matter. I suppose the powers of the blade were pretty much cheating. A thrown battle would do little to prove Vivian's credibility. What happened? After, I, after a trek that seems like forever, we're at our gates. They are shut tight, and I can see another set across from this one. At the other end of the arena, our opponents are waiting for us, ju or waiting, just like us. I look over at my allies and gulp. The crowd is roaring with excitement. Our lives are simply entertainment to them. Remember, we're fighting for a better future. Our hopes and dreams will carry us to victory, I know it. Okay. Of course, Ulrich's sword arm will sure be a big help. You're the one leading this. Do you understand that? This is your thing. You decided this. No need to put on the pressure, Vivian. But I know you're right. This is all I've ever wanted. And with you two by my side, I know I'll never fail. Okay. He smiles, but that smile is quickly wiped from his face. The gates begin to open, giving us clear view of the arena. Hold on. So we don't have to go through all of that again? I'm just going to do this. There. Oh, perfect timing for that save. Right on the last moment. Ooh, here we go. 
Is that a horse? I want to say it should be a dragon, but it kind of looks like a horse. We take a few steps outside the gate. Here comes the fight, guys. It's going on. We're in gladiator times. We take a few steps outside the gate and look around. The crowd goes wild, and that's when all hell breaks loose. The reserve forces rush to the center to create a line of defense. Stay back, Monarch. Let me and Vivian lead the charge. Screw you. Don't die, Leem. I'm going to do my best. But no yeah, promises. Make sure to stay out of danger. We can't have our future ruler falling in battle. Well, you are also the future ruler, right? So, potentially. No! What do you mean? I stay back as instructed and let them lead the charge. After a few minutes, everybody meets in the center. All I can hear is clashing, clashing metal and agonizing screams. It's an absolute massacre, just like... Oh, I gasp and take a few steps back, anxiety coursing through me. It feels like I'm right back in the Rebel HQ. Everybody is dying. I clutch my chest and I start to panic in the arena, my breath short. What's going on? This, is, this has never happened before. I can't escape this. It feels like it's happening to me all over again. I shake my head, but nothing helps. I, I need it to stop. Hey, Monarch, are you okay? No. I am unable to respond as my enemies close in on me. Draco's reserve forces, our own men, are coming to attack me. Or were they? I have no idea what they'd actually follow through with it. It's called PTSD? Yeah, apparently I'm going through it right now. And thanks to the sudden interruption, I, I, I never find out. Monarch! What? Ulrich rushes to my side and pushes me to the ground. I hit the floor with a loud thud, and I'm knocked back into, into coherence. However, that did little else but redirect attention to him. With almost a dozen men change it, charging towards me, he stands his ground. Unseething his sword, he, see, he sizes up any uncoming... I uh, cannot talk. He sizes up the uncoming attackers. One single sword swing later, and they're all knocked to the ground. It seems he's shown them mercy, but as they squirm on the ground injured, I'm not sure what he's calculating, but that was impressive. It's almost like he knew exactly when to swing for the maximum effect. It hurt me to see them harm our own, but there was no, there was no other choice. Forgive for some me. reason, I cannot fathom these right now. Great swords decision. are good at that. Great we swords, perfect for slashing through enemies and cutting through the tension in the room. <laughs> Maybe a little too much slashing and not enough cuddling, huh? Watch out, you might accidentally slash your way into a romantic subplot. I'm not sure your logic on that, Theo, but I'll, I'll take it. It's fine. I nod, and I grab his hand, and he helps me back to my feet. I have no idea what just happened. Was that a vision or something else? No, there was no time to think about that. We had a battle to focus on, and it was a battle that we were winning. We're push it. We push the opposing forces back towards their side. After a few minutes of battle, Oh, Theo, you trying to start a romantic subplot? I think he is. I think he is. They're almost backed into a corner. We had them right where we wanted them. Or did we? No! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Just when we think we have the upper hand, Draku plays his trump card. He forces spread out and quickly run around our flank surrounding us. We weren't quick enough to react. We were all too close together. Stay close, Monarch. This must be what Draco was counting on. If we can break free, then victory is surely ours. They take slow, synchronized step towards us. We all look for a weakness, but we can't find any. In a few minutes, they close in on us. See, you should talk to your army, maybe. The strategy, it seems yeah, desperate. You. Watching. That means I see. he doesn't have you anything have else up his sleeve. I don't know. He does not Why like not this monarch. Do it? Use Come that on. blade if you have to. They raise their blades and ready themselves to attack. They're still too far away, but it's enough to intimidate us. I reach for my own weapon in response and unsee it. I take slow steps forward, matching their synchronization. They stare at me, confused, and some of them even scoff at me. This was my chance to shine. I'd have to save us from this trap. Gripping the blade tightly, I try to and figure out how to activate it. As if sensing my instinct, the gear on the base starts to spin fervently. 
I raise it up in the air, and I demand that the blade assist us in battle. Didn't I just say I wasn't going to do this because it would be cheating? That one guy said, don't do it. Immediately after that, a flash of light overtakes the arena. Just like every other time the blade has been used, as if it's, if it's, that's its call. However, this flash of white subsides almost as soon as it began. It seems to have left everybody in the re arena blinded. They stagger back, waving their hands over their eyes, unable to see. In their confusion, they step back, revealing a gap in their formation. And what gap it is, or, and that gap is exactly where Draku stands now. With my comrades also blinded, it might be just up, be up to me. I grip the blade and watch Draku panic in sight Rob state. The crowd goes silent, almost in awe at what's going on. All eyes are on me. They know I use my blade to do this. I flash banged everyone I must have. I gulp, unsure if if I should attack or wait for the slight the, their sight to return. I don't want them to think I'm a coward who needs to disarm their foes. With so many people watching, I need to consider what image I give off. I should be the highest seat of power after the war. I need to think. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit. Um. This is a tough one. All right, guys. Should I take him out immediately? Because I feel like that's bad. I feel like that would be bad. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that might be bad. I want to give you guys a chance to say you would you would win, but Alorinthia would not be happy. You're right. That's the thing. Is that worth it? You know what I mean? Like, is that is that a good idea? I'm so confused. I think. Oh, and no spoilers. All right. All right. I'm going to try. I'm going to. I think the best one would be this. But I feel like that's. I feel like that's bad. But. I'm going to do this. No, I couldn't rely on the blade to win this battle. It was cheating. Breaking through his attack was enough to put us back on equal ground. That's all we needed to win. We wouldn't get caught off guard again. I prepare my sheath, my blade, but then everything changes. I feel a grip on my shoulder prevent, preventing me from moving at all. Turning back to face the source of the intrusion, I tremble in fright. It was Ulrich. Sorry, I can't have you getting in the way. I have to do this, Monarch. Please forgive me. No, don't do it. I grip The grip on my told, shoulder tightens into something more crushing. His aggression is clear, and for the first time, I'm frightened by him. He holds up his blade and repositions his hands to use the base as a weapon, and he smashes against my face repeatedly. I scream and fall to my knees. Blood pours from my nose. My vision gets hazy, and soon I fall to the ground completely. Wait, why is he doing this to me? I look at the gap in my, my enemy forces. I see Pro step through it. He holds a dagger out to Ulrich, who holds a blade out in turn. The light still blinds most of the other fighters, making this a one-on-one -on -one battle. No, I don't like where this is going. I reach out and try to stop them, but it's no use. They immediately charge at one another. Pain radiates through my entire body, and I'm almost unable to focus. Their weapons clash again and again, and I finally see Pro fight. He dodges with grace, almost like watching the moves of a dancer. Give it up, Pro. This is what I was meant to do. Changing Alorinthia means everything to me. I 
can't let you win, Ulrich. We need Draco's strength to take down the Triumvirate. You can always come back and change things after the war. Never. They continue to fight, ignoring each other's pleas. But they'd have to do something quick. The other soldiers are shaking things off. I keep trying to crawl towards them. The battle was in with was with Vivian and Draco, not each other. Are you really willing to die for this? Think about what Draco can help us accomplish. If the choice is between fighting alongside Draco and death, then yeah, I'm willing to die for this, pro. But I have to ask, are you willing to kill me in the name of my enemy? Yes, of course. He looks nervous, like Ulrich is calling out his bluff. He takes a slow, intimidating steps towards Pro. In response, Pro par starts to panic and step back. If you're willing to kill me, then do it. Show me that our friendship means nothing to you. Pro, you are not that guy. I hope not. But we're family. It looks like Pro is about to cry. No, that's just an excuse you made up. Why are you saying this? Because I don't believe you're willing to kill me. But I stand here, ready to kill you at a moment's notice. That need for friends and family to be loved, that's your weakness. No, that's not Ulrich. Ulrich is not that guy. All I've ever wanted was to change this nation for the better. You, Tomek, the monarch, you're worth less than pawns to me. So I'll give you one chance to kill me. Take my life or lose yours. What is he doing? This isn't Ulrich. This doesn't sound like Ulrich at all. Ulrich, stop! In response, Ulrich readies his blade and steps closer to Pro. There's nothing I can do anymore. I'm practically choking on my own blood. Any weak cries admi or I admit would Sad boy Ulrich, easily... Oh my gosh. In the corner with his deep thoughts and a fancy <laughs> sword. Probably yep. writing emo poetry in his might spare be. time. He might be. Who needs a therapist when you have all that edge to cut through? Maybe he just needs a hug. Or he a really does. good battle scene to liven things up. Well, we're getting that battle scene right now. Overtaken by chatter of our audience. The chatter that soon turns into a roaring applause. Pro lunges forward to attack Ulrich, but he quickly counters. Gripping Pro's arm, he seizes the dagger for himself. That's the way it is, huh? You're a fool, Pro. Always were. Throwing, a, or throwing his own greatsword to the ground, he stares Pro in the eye. Pro trembles in fear, realizing he played into Ulrich's hand. He dodges Pro's erotic attack, erratic attack, rather than launching his own. I mean, he got a battle scene, but he will need a hug after. He might. Ulrich! Let me go! As soon as he holds Pro's firmly in place, he closes his eyes. Sorry it had to come to this, but know that your death will create a better nation. And hopefully... That will lead us all to a better world. I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going. Also, erotic attack. It kind of is. It's very intimate. He plunges the dagger into Pro's multiple gut multiple times. Oh, God. The look on their faces reminds me of Shane and Domic. But something tells me that Pro wouldn't be so lucky. I can hear him cry and whimper as he falls to the ground. It's going to be an awkward walk back. It might be. Looks like you were finally good for something. Ouch, dude. I don't like this Ulrich. The last thing I can remember, succumbing to grief and agony, I slowly pass out. The crowd goes wild as the soldiers overcome their blindness. They're greeted to a sight of a victor, but, only, but I only see a man who lost. An empty victory and one we surely would never fully recover from. Crying at our loss, my vision fades as I lie in a puddle of my own blood. Well... Fuck. Is there any way out of that? Wait, hold on. Is there a way out of it? Like, if I had chosen to do the other thing, would that have done it? Like, if I had taken the step of just killing the dude... Would that have saved him? I kind of have to try it, right? Like, I can't, I can't let it happen like that. I can't let it go down like that. 
Okay. Here's what we're going to do. I can't let it go down like that. It can't go down like that. There's no way to stop one of them dying, depending on who you side with. There's no way to do it? What? But isn't there like an achievement for... I thought there was like... I think if I read the achievements, right, there is one for like everyone survives, right? Yeah, there, there literally has to be a way to do it because there is an achievement unlocks the final after the final battle concludes as long as all your alliances survived. Note to ensure this, you need to meet all the requirements of the final battle note section. Here's the channel. Redacted underscore Whoa, cat just redacted. rated with 15 hard ones. What's going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ulrich will stop you whether you attack or not. Okay. Redacted cat, what's going on? Look at these guys. How's it going with, with the, the raid? raid? What is what? going on, guys? Burp stars. Burp stairs. What is burp you, stairs? Redacted underscore cat bringing in the energy. Bringing in the energy. What's popping? What's popping? All right. This is, that's for the final battle. All charm? right. Let's make this stream even more exciting <sighs> with your vibes. All right. All right. I'm going to give you a quick, quick shout out there. Redacted. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you guys doing? What were you guys up to? What kind of party and trouble were you getting up to? I bet you guys were all sorts Sticky of trouble. Llama. Thanks for hitting that follow Sticky button. Llama. Welcome to I the love conspiracy. it. Thank you so much for the follow. Here's that. Here's that. Let me get that going. You were doing some Silent Hill 4. That's awesome. I love it. Up goes the armor. Up goes the armor. <laughs> love it. Uh oh. Get him! Kill him! Boom! <laughs> That's a big boom. Big boom time. Anyway, how are you doing there, Redacted? How is you and your community doing today? Hope you guys are having a good time. Hope you had a great time with some Silent Hill. Bet you're all creeped out uh, a little bit. Got some of that scary room vibes. I haven't played that game in years. It was really good. I know it's like not the favorite of the series, but I actually thought the game was pretty creepy. So I'm glad you guys had a good time, but welcome to the Lean This Streams. I'm a variety streamer. Uh, we are playing a little Winds of Change. One of our guys just died. It's very sad. I don't know if there was a way to stop it. I think I'm just going to have to go with it. Uh, but that's the way it is. We lost pro. Pro. Sorry to see you go. Did some SH4. Lots of progress. Nice. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, let's go, I guess. <sighs> My eyes slowly open, and I find myself back in the Colosseum private chambers. Pain radiates through my head, pulsing with my heartbeat. It's almost unbearable. I notice some empty vials on the nightstand, and an odd taste in my mouth. Painkillers. Valesa and Fortame sit on chairs beside the bed, watching me intently. He's waking up. I am, kind of. Oh yeah, you think if you save after this, you remove him from your party? <sighs> That's really sad. It's really sad. Fortame immediately rises from his chair and runs over to me. The worry on his face is clear, but everybody breathes a sigh of relief. That is, except for Ulrich. He stands in the corner of the room, his arms crossed. After what he just did, I'm not surprised he acts this distance. We were so worried, Monarch. We didn't know if you'd recover. Ulrich did some damage. Your nose is broken, but if you give it time, you'll be totally fine. Sure, I'm also, my pride has been destroyed. I'm just gonna put that in there. Ulrich being edgy, he's being Mr. Dark Edgy Man back there. Emo Ulrich is what we are seeing right now. Also, he kind of beat the shit out of me. Like, I'm just putting that out there. He, he didn't have to, like, beat the shit out of me. You know what I mean? That seemed like an overstatement. He's got some splaining to do, is what that is. I feel like I feel like Ulrich just did a domestic violence against me, so that's going to be a problem. Upon hearing this, Ulrich rolls his eyes. I can't believe it, but Pro was dead. Ulrich killed him. Our alliance with... Vivian was secured, but was it worth it? That's not a question I could possibly answer. Yeah, you might just have taken him to court. I might. On one hand, that sacrifice could ensure the safety of millions. 
but we were comrades, bonds, complicated things during a time of war. There was no time to grieve either. We needed to prepare for Baltius. I let my legs dangle off the bed and I find their place on the warm stone floor. I can sense the denial in the air. Nobody wanted to talk about what just happened. So, what's the next step? Uh, probably many doctor visits. Because I've been massacred by Ulrich. And also, I'm very sad. So, we should probably go to the tavern. Maybe have a few drinks. Forget some things. Domic enters the conversation. Domic. our alliance finalized, we need to head back to Mizeo. Domic slides into your DMs. We'll launch the assault on Balteus. This is it. We've come away from this with more soldiers than ever. Howell steps forward and enters the conversation as well. The Triumvirate would not expect us to recover this quickly, but here we stand, stronger than ever before. We can win this war. We would advise not mulling over this sacrifice. It secured his victory. Yeah, Pro may have not sided with Vivian, but he sided with us. We're still going to secure the future he was fighting for. Alestia's future. Do the thing where you friend. crank your nose back and in place uh, and more then power. More yeah, just pour alcohol into it. It might be the best way to go at this point. A good outlook. Wasting time to mourn could cost us this entire war. We must make our way to the docks and meet with Vivian. Focus on the things that are within our control, Monarch. Okay, I feel like I need some time to heal. I've been beat up badly. I mean, he did kind of betray us. He did, but I, he, like I said before, he was doing it with the right intentions for him. I nod. A suggestion born from denial, no doubt. However, despite its origins, it was a good idea. We still have business to take care of, no matter what. I stand up, getting out of bed, and everyone looks worried. Yeah, at least he didn't pull his chain. No, Ulrich literally did. <laughs> Ulrich literally pulled it on him. Uh, it didn't go well. But Shane is still an asshole. He's the worst. They brace themselves to catch me, in case I were to fall over. I stumble slightly, but I'm fine. I think I was ready to get things moving. So, should we just start walking to the docks? Let's make sure to stock up on lots of water. The journey back isn't going to be any easier. Ulrich was an asshole in the moment. He really was. That whole scene, like, scared the shit out of me because Ulrich's never been, like, that much of a dick. Like, he's, he's, he's blunt and he is intimidating, but he's usually not that much of a dick. And he was being a dick. He gets ready to leave, but... Fortame interjects. Whoa, hold on a second here. Before we go, I have a question to ask. Yeah, Domic, sound, you sound oddly calm for what just happened. Maybe. He did kind of. I love Fortame's like, I know we're in a hurry, but I have a question. And he's like, do you guys think that uh, if you were to wear blue on a Saturday, does that say something about you as a person? Could you answer that question for me? And everyone's like, what the fuck? He looks over at Ulrich, who, exchange, who exchanges an awkward glance. Ulrich, why did you do this? You could have waited and went after Draku! Ulrich, everyone looks shocked, but I know it's something we were all thinking. You were wearing blue on a Tuesday here? I am. I can't believe you. Evil incarnate. <laughs> Ulrich, do you just wear blue whenever you freaking feel like it? If it's on a Tuesday, that just means you're an asshole. And we saw that play out. Without a single word, Ulrich shakes his head and walks out of the room. Hey, I asked you a question, you coward. Wow. Fortame, do you really think you can, um, you think I could climb the Coliseum? Jojo, scaling the Coliseum ain't just a walk in the park. Oh Your my. character better have serious grip strength or it's going to be a real cliffhanger and not the exciting kind. Hmm. Are you ready to conquer that steep challenge or do a dramatic fall? You might be. Wow, Fortame standing up for his small self. I love it. It's no use. He's already long gone. Likely to the docks, as we know he wouldn't abandon us. As bad as his action were, he still seemed to serve our cause. Fortim. I know we have an alliance or whatever, but who cares? We lost one of our friends. Why is nobody sad? 
Why is nobody? Everybody's sad. Okay, I'm sad. I just I can't. You can't tell because there's so many bruises and my face is swollen to extreme degrees. I can't show my sadness. We'll have plenty of time to grieve after this war is over. We've lost plenty. Ulrich does sure have we'll blue tattoos. You're right. He does actually. We he does wear blue we'll every around, day. We'll lose everything. We're not forgetting about him, Fortin. We just have more important things to focus on. Let's get to the docks. We can talk more on the trip home. You're sad, but your face is broken. True. My poor face is broken. I can't show my sadness right now. You have no idea what I'm thinking. I could be laughing. I could be crying. Nobody has any idea. That's part of the problem, Valesa. I don't even know what home is anymore. It was Valinorth and then Mazeo, but everything around us is getting destroyed. And I thought home was being with our friends. But now they're dying, Valesa. Nobody knows how to respond to Fortame's words. An awkward silence fills the room, but he gets an idea. That makes me wonder, can you break your tear ducts? Probably. I bet you could damage them. That's probably not good for your eyes because you, you would then like dry out so quickly. You would just have to have like a never ending flow of like eye drops if you did that or something or else your eyes would probably suffer very badly. Home is the people with you you love and they're all dead. Fine. Forget I even said anything. But we were betrayed, plain and simple, by one of our own. It may have gotten us an alliance, but it's still a betrayal. And in my books, people like that deserve to be punished. So you can push this aside or whatever, but I won't. This is a crime that needs to be answered for. What is he literally saying that Ulrich betrayed us? I don't know about that, because like he made his intentions clear pretty pretty early on. After saying that, he storms out of the room. I suppose he was right, but it's not really that simple. There's no point in arguing, however, so we all start to leave. Well, I guess maybe venting like that could help. Let's just get it out of the way while we're walking, all right? Every moment we waste makes our enemy more prepared. Why are you so cat? You're right, Jojo. He's being real casual about all this. Everybody seems to agree, and we all shuffle out of the room. And so begins our long and arduous journey back to the docks. However, instead of hope, this trek would be filled with a feeling of despair. Fortame, what Ulrich did is not remotely close to what Shane did. Pro is kind of... And Pro is kind of dead. He's dead, but I, I don't know if it's like betrayal, because like I feel like he did make it very clear what he was going to do. It still sucks. Our entire party remains silent in silence until we arrive at the oasis. Having gone through all of our water, we need to fill up immediately. We're all sweating, clearly exerted from our journey through the desert. Well, it's time for a brief break. Let's get some water and then head back to the docks. If I remember correctly, this means we're halfway there. It wasn't that long ago. We all nod and start filling up our canteens with water. But while I do, I pay attention to what's going on around me. Ulrich makes sure he's standing beside Fortame while he fills up on water. Fortame notices this and seems visibly angry. It's totally understandable, though. What do you want? Wow. That might be the most venom from Fortame I've ever heard. He's like, what do you want, you little shit? I will fucking destroy you. I just wanted to apologize, Fortame. You'll understand soon. I had no other choice. There's no way you're sorry, Ulrich. I saw no hint of remorse on your face when you killed him. And even now that you're apologizing, you don't look sad at all. That's not true. I'm being serious here. I mean, you were kind of a dick. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I'm buying it. He was being kind of a dick. Well, so am I. Just leave me alone, Ulrich. We'd all be better off without you. Ow! Freaking Fortame, listen... Before you get into that, I know you and I are dating, but I've also slept with that man while we were dating, and you seemed okay with it. It doesn't change, and I haven't decided whether or not I'm done with that. He's about to use his climbing claws for something else. That would be a cool sight. I would love to see that. This is complicated, though, JoJo. I got my boyfriend, you know, uh, like getting upset with my booty call 
And I'm not sure if that's going to work too well. If you have your boyfriend upset with your booty call, it just don't, it's not a good combination, you know? Oh, you were just a bit, you know, of an asshole. Stirring up some drama there. He is doing it. Looks like the party's not too happy with his bad behavior. Oh, Time man. for a little group therapy session or maybe a good old fashioned apology tour to smooth things over. <laughs> Will Ulrich grace us with an I'm sorry or stir the pot even more? Drama llama. Here we come. Drama llama. Here we come. Not to be confused with steaky or steaky llama. It's not you. Ten is coming in. Coming oh my in gosh. With the Easily fixed just three. Are we summoning a doge army? <laughs> or is this some kind of secret code? The chat's on fire with mystery and intrigue. What's the plan here? Summoning the pupper squad for a surprise attack on the stream. Let's see if those doges Goodness. are ready to Goodness. rumble. Those doges are out here. Thank God. Yeah, it's not you, Steaky Llama. It is the drama Jojo. llama. Two different Always things. My goodness, what is this? Methods. Shut the up! To smooth out <laughs> the tension, huh? That's one way to shake up the dynamics. Theo, it's and not your show. I know you think it is. Will this plan lead to a steamy romance or a chaotic sitcom? It might moment? be. We're gonna maul Liam. Going we gonna maul Liam. You better maul Liam. Three Theos in a row. That I don't know what the odds are on that because it's literally, I think, like a five, four or five percent chance that you should get that. And that was crazy good luck. Ulrich takes a step back, hurt by Forte's words. If he wasn't sad before, then he definitely is now. Fine. He walks away from Forte, considering the conversation over. As harsh as Forte was, I think he's saying what's going on a lot in a lot of our minds. Almost everybody has been treating him with disdain since the battle ended. Wait, Theo, are you saying the party should watch? They should. Everybody should watch right now. Get your popcorn out. We're doing this. After we're all done gathering water, Fortame approaches me. He looks so conflicted. After all, he's the only one being vocal about this situation. Especially after his outburst just now, he's starting to wonder if he's being too emotional. Come on, Monarch. You have my back in this, right? What happened was way out of line. Well, you know, Fortame, you're putting me in a bad spot. You understand? I got my main squeeze and I got my booty call and I can't be put between them unless I am put between them in a better way. And that's a whole separate conversation. But for now, I don't want to answer this question. So, I know oh, that God damn it. focusing on the war right now, but I can't do that. This is just too much to take in. What should I do? Are you going to forgive this? Yes, I am. I'm probably. I don't think, because like, I don't think I could ever forgive murder of a comrade. I'm so shocked. I don't know what to think right now. Technically, probably that one, but I feel like the answer is going to be this one because, um, listen, something seems fishy about this whole thing anyway, right? Like, I feel like something seems fishy here and I feel like Ulrich did lose control, but some was off. So here's my theory, guys. I've never seen Ulrich act like that. Tell him you should make out. Like, go make out with him right now. Um, I feel like something was off in the way that Ulrich was acting. And, like, it felt so unlike him. That I feel like something weird's going on. And Ulrich is a friend, too. Do they really, though? If the Triumvirate asked for a second chance, you'd give them one? Well, is that a second I chance? I true. It's just harder because we're all friends. I don't think the Triumvirate would be going for a second chance. I feel like there will be a, several many more. Why free pass to commit atrocities? This whole thing is just so messed up. It doesn't make any sense. He should be punished, just like any other criminal. Shouldn't he? I shrug, unsure of how to respond to this last part. But he's not really a criminal. He did do, like, in this place, that is a lawful act. And uh, that's part of, like, their thing. So I don't think he committed a crime. He killed him, but it Lean wasn't a crime. Is proud to support an ongoing donation drive right here on Twitch for the he did kill a comrade, Foundation. But it secured us a powerful to ally in an awesome way and can afford it. We, check it out. we have to wonder to if, more, if such actions cancel each other out. Once one life gave us the power we need to win this war. But at the same time, is it right to reduce a life to something like that? A bargaining chip on some sort of table containing all of our lives. Is it something we'd have to talk about as an entire group? I may be in charge, but this affected everybody, not just me. <clears throat> That's what I let Fortame know. 
It's the only right, right way to handle this. All right. But just take my advice. Don't do it while everybody is still in shock. Let them process these events and form an opinion. All right. I'll give them like 15 minutes. All right. How's that sound? I nod, and it seems like we're all ready to continue. Since we're halfway to the docks, we'd have a long time to think. But something tells me no time in the world would let us sort this out. Probably not. We're here! We made it! My head throbs as the painkillers start to wear off in the oasis. My coherence fades in and out, though my body still moves. I'm barely conscious. Before I know it, we're already back at the docks. However, I didn't miss any of the note. What surely took a portion of the entire day seemed like mere moments to me. Our group scattered out, but not too far. We're all within earshot of one another. I notice our new ally is waiting by the ship. Domic quickly approaches them. Vivian, there you are. How does it feel to be the one in power? It's hard to believe, actually. I expect that it'll set in after the upcoming battle. I'm a man of my word, so I need to help you out first. Now, maybe I missed this part of the Alorinthian law, but what is stopping, like, Draku from just, like, being like, hey, um, I challenge you again, and, like, you know, like, I'm going to take over again. Like, what's stopping him from doing that? Proud of you, Vivian? Wait, don't tell me you're coming with us. Don't you have things to take care of over here? It's nothing that can't wait a few days. How the long do you, do you think wars soon, take I, a few days? I can leave things in the hands of a few friends for now. Maybe it's in the fine print. It could be, I guess. How long do you think this is going to take? It's a war. Wars tend to take longer than a day. Fair enough, and yeah, you're right. We plan to launch the attack within a day or two. Once we get to Maseo, we need to take care of business. We're going to take care of all the business. I mean, final goodbyes and stuff like that. After we leave for Balteus, we might never return. We need to make sure that we leave with no regrets. No regrets. Have a little faith, Domic. Have a little faith. Nobody can take down those gods. In it's me. Us. We just overthrew an entire nation. I think that's a good sign. Yeah, because nations and gods are the same thing. Hey, Gecko, how's the winds of revolution coming along? Well, Gecko. Gecko. Pro's dead. Pro's dead. Pro died. And everybody's mad at, at Ulrich because Ulrich did it. I didn't do it. It was Ulrich. Ulrich beat the shit out of me, left me on my face, and I almost died. And I got a big screaming headache and a messed up face. And then Ulrich stabbed Pro to death. With his own daggers. Huh. I feel like there's still some to be said here. I'm starting to get some thoughts. Rip Pro 2024 to 2024. Ow. Owie. All right. Keep this show on the road. At that moment, we're interrupted by the last person I thought I'd see. Gods. Uh-oh. Don't make me laugh. Gods. You know just as well as I do that they're weak. Like us. The true power rests with the one who can wield that blade. Oh, it's not like we don't know who this is, but this is worse than Les Mis when actually a lot of people die in that. True. We all stop what we're doing and look towards the, the source of the noise. Terribly sorry to uh -oh. intrude, but I need to have a word with the monarch. No, that seems weird. If you so kind as to give us some privacy, I'd be forever grateful. You know, that seems weird. Uh, I'll do it, but it's my favorite character. It is, right? Oh, it's triple question mark. They are the best. It's Savi. Oh, I didn't do that at the right time. Hold on. This is better. It's Savi. There you go. That's better. That was better timing. I immediately assume it's a battle stance. 
fight quickly overtakes the air. This was bad. I'm not sure who remembers him from the Rebel HQ, and I'm not sure if I'm the comrades have seen him before, but they heed my warning and assume stance is similar to mine. A hostile greeting. I don't blame you. You're only treating me the way I treated you. You... You oh, you tried to kill me. So, yes. He takes a few steps forward. And I do as well. Savi, it's a bad time. We're just trying to talk. Oh, uh, someone might have died. Hey, do you remember Pro? He's dead. Remember him, right? I noticed that he looks at Damak, a man he thought was dead. A hint of emotion shows on his otherwise cold face as he does this. So after this hostility, I expect mercy. Remember, if it weren't for me, you'd be dead. Well, fair, but, you know, you still wanted me dead. I guess he did let me go. He immediately gets on his knees and holds out his wrist. I submit to your authority. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, shit, that guy is alive? I only want to talk. The hell? He's when literally like, to Maseo, we can go our separate ways. Okay. I'm shocked by his actions. I expected another fight to ensue. I look around at my comrades, unsure of what to do in this situation. It was clearly a trap, right? What business would he have with us? Vivian, restrain this man immediately. Take him to the brig and make sure he can't escape. He's unarmed and alone. So do it before he starts anything. Vivian does. Why would we tell Vivian to do this? Vivian does as instructed as Ulrich uh, takes matters into his own hands. It was probably for the best. He seems to know Savi better than any of us. Savi has no allies present and no honor guard soldiers right now. He was weak. Once we set sail, come and talk to me, monarch. Yeah, those are the I eyes that I can trust. That you might want to hear. That's a look of somebody Including I can the definitely true trust. Identity of the mole among yeah, Vivian's forces. like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> He's like, what are you guys doing? He's dragged away with what I interpreted as a sinister smirk. I'm pretty sure that's just his resting smirk face. That's what he's got. Resting sin smirk face. Uh, it's likely that he couldn't be trusted. This was obvious psychological warfare. Turn against us on our own friends and we destroy each other from the inside. An obvious attempt to sabotage our impending attack on Baltius. But if we restrained him and kept a watch on him, we had a valuable asset. Everyone, fuck this guy, Vivian. What did he even do? I don't know. The Triumvirate's own Grand Inquisitor. That would make a fine bargaining chip. Sorry about that, but we need to get out of here and fast. If we stay in Alarenthia any longer, they might figure us out. And Sylvie definitely can't hear what I'm about to tell you. Okay. Uh, does this seem like the time to start telling people secrets? Figure us out? What does he mean? There's worry and paranoia on Ulrich's face. Come closer, everybody. I'm afraid that I've been keeping a secret from all of you. But it's not just me. Hold on a second. What? You'll see what I mean. I mean, given that he converted Shane so evilly, I would be surprised if he thought everyone else on his side was super gullible. That's a good point. That's a good point. All he had to do was like, he literally, again, just went to Shane and was like, Hey, Shane, did you know those guys were talking shit about you? Like, they were literally talking shit, bro. And Shane was like, Nah, man. I'm gonna fucking kill that dude. <laughs> I was like, I, I know they're my best friends, but I'm gonna kill that dude. <laughs> and that's literally how that went down. Ulrich, she, who should probably not tell secrets in the open. This is a weird thing for him to take on. I'm curious what he has to say. Go on. We look around. Clueless is what he's talking about. But following his instructions, we all inch our way towards him. We're all like, boop, 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 boop. Yes. yes. What is it you have to say? He tilts his head towards the side, looking behind one of the nearby trees. What happens next leaves us all speechless in utter shock. It's pro, isn't it? It's pro. You can come out now. And then, from behind the group, steps out a man. They have a cloak wearing over their body, which they slowly drop to the ground. <laughs> oh, oh man, I knew it! Time. I knew it! There's nothing I hate more than hiding. Oh! Sorry for worrying all of you, but we had to do it. <laughs> Oh no, I knew it. I knew there was something suspicious going on here. Twout, he has a twin brother. This isn't pro. This is uh, not pro or like, I don't know, mediocre. Pro and Ulrich high five. 
<laughs> I'm just trying to picture his name is bro. It's an amateur dude. I just, I'm just picturing like them just like doing like the, like the standard, like sitcom, you know, old school sitcom high five where they both jump in the air and they're like, yeah, they're just like, <laughs> that's like those, that's a scene that I really wish they had like animated just that. And it's just pro and all work being like, yeah, and just like slap hands. That would be so funny. I would love to see that. Yeah, I'm not the best actor, you know. <laughs> Cue audience applause. Yeah, it's literally, literally just like, yeah, they do that. And then it's just literally like, <laughs> that's our pro. I have to sleep. Glad I stumbled upon your stream. Well, thank you for the follow and thank you for coming in. We really appreciate having you here and you have a good night's sleep. I think people are starting to see through our lies. Before Pro can do anything else, he's bombarded with hugs from our comrade. Ulrich, you're an amazing actor. I know, right? Give that man the freaking Oscar right now. The man they thought was killed in cold blood now stands before them. Oh, man. Fortame. I just thought about this, though. Fortame is... Uh, it's just a prank, bro. He's like, oh, yeah, you just got... Where's Ashton Kutcher right now? He just comes out. He's like, bro, we got you. Um, all right. So yeah, Fortame. Ooh, that's just a, yeah, that's just a prank pro. <sighs> Fortame put his foot in his mouth, though. Fortame is going to be feeling a little bit, a little bit bad right now. Ulrich, like, told you you would understand. Hey, come on, cut it out. It's enough to know you missed me, but we really need to get going. I think Best. everybody keeps saying that. Yeah, if they find out we cheated, we're done for. I know you want an explanation, so let's talk about it on the ship. We should set sail right away so nobody catches on to us. All right, let's do it. Let's get this boat on the road. They start to walk towards the ship, but Damick stops them. Wait, you cheated? How are we going to break this news to our new partner? If they find out, they might just break off our alliance. It worked out in their benefit, so I doubt they'd care. Let's get going. We'll explain the story on our way home. Uh, they might care. We'll see. I'm so confused. Everybody is. Except I kind of saw something like this coming. Don't worry about it, Domek. We made it out of this without any casualties. Really. A, a few members of the reserve forces died, but that's it. Wow. Way to be very caring about the people that we put in the worst possible position. Nobody died. You know, except for those guys. <laughs> Don't worry about them, though. They don't matter because we don't see their faces. Well, we did see two of their faces, but we don't know if it was them. Which would be funnier if Pro was just like on the ship and you randomly run into him. That would be kind of cool. I really would have liked that. You just like walk into one of the rooms and he's just standing there like, oh, it's not me. Uh, you, you're seeing things. This is called a mirage. Thankfully, none of our seers fell in combat. We have more strength than ever before. That's what matters. Attacking Balteus will be as easy as the snap of a finger. Well, ain't that just pretty. Everything worked out. All right, then I trust you. But you better have a good explanation for this. Nope. Let's get going, everybody. We have Alrighty. a long voyage home. Alrighty. And Domic, Ulrich, and Pro get on the ship. I start to walk over with Howl, Valesa, and Fortame. Oh, so no one important was lost. Only those other guys. We never see them. They don't have a name. They're dead. Don't worry about it. They'll be, you know, their families will never see them again, but no big deal. They seem happy, but just as confused as I am. Cheating is not something we agree with. Such tactics are what our current enemy employs. This journey seems to be changing all of your values. I had nothing to do with this. Also, have you met Pro before this? Because I'm pretty sure that was in his values. But he's still alive. That's great news. I was really freaking out. I didn't know what to do. Don't tell me you think it would be better if he was dead. Maybe. Means to an end, we suppose. The enemy likely thinks the same way. With that, he walks away and gets on the ship. Valesa and Fortame both turn to me happy. Let's go find out what they have to say. I'm also curious about that other man we restrained. His name's Sabi? <laughs> There's so much going on right now, I can barely think. I wouldn't worry about that. I'm pretty sure that's normal. Yeah, I want to figure everything out. I was worried we'd be attacking Balteus without all of our friends. But to know he's still alive? I can't even begin to describe the relief. 
All right, well, I'm glad to hear that. But you guys realize we're about to go to another fight. So there's another chance someone could die. We make our way to the deck of the ship, but Valesa's words stick with me. Everything was moving so fast. I almost didn't know what was going on. Thankfully, we had a long trip home to get everything figured out. I don't think she does. I think pretty, I'm pretty sure that Savi like was at the HQ, but he was just like one of many fighters, right? And so he just came and went right after me and Grizz towards the idol in Domic, I guess, and then fought me there. So it's very possible they never ran into him. It's very possible that happened. And with that as my goal, we'd get back to Mizeo with no questions left unanswered. No matter how shocking the answers were and whether or not I, re I regretted learning them, we seemed to be running on everybody's agenda but my own. Everybody had their own plans. It was time for that to change. What am I saying? I should be somewhat happy about this. Pro is alive. Wait, is this the song again or no? Because if it is... All right. When we all get in the ship, it starts to sail within moments. It seems that Ulrich and, and Pro want to expedite our departure from our Alinthia. Alorenthia. They continue to look at us with smiles on their faces. To themselves, they had succeeded. But in what exactly? That's what I demand to know as I step forward. If I was in charge, I couldn't have them plotting behind my back. Ah, oh, no, join our song. I know, but the thing is, if it is that song, uh, it didn't really cause me any major issues, but I feel like it did get flagged by YouTube. <laughs> Everybody gathers around and listen as our ship gently rocks back and forth. Though relieved that there was no real casualties, we needed to know what we got into. If they wanted to leave so fast, was it so bad that we could never come back to Alderinthia? YouTube was just mad they were. Not really. Oh, hey, really it's though. not that bad, trust me. But it's definitely the biggest score of my life. I mean, swindle an entire nation? Amazing! Amazing. Uh, he continues talking, his pride apparent. It all started after the attack on our HQ. Domek cheated death, and we rose from the ashes. Then, we were going to Alorinthia, where I knew we'd be fighting. That's a good call. So I thought, what if we could cheat death again, but to our advantage? There was so much room for error that we stepped in to even the odds. I knew that Ulrich would side with Vivian regardless, so I went to him. I didn't want to work with Pro at first. It seemed like a plan doomed to failure. Could we really I mean, that's a pretty pro gamer. Right he did he eyes. did game it pretty pro. Obviously he was pretty I impossible. mean, he lived up to his name. Pro I'll give him that. Consistent. He came up with a solid plan. I'd fight with Vivian and he'd fight with Draco. If we were both on opposing teams, we could throw the battle in any direction. Hey, wait a minute. So that's what we did. We wait a minute, though. Three for the side the monarch chose. Wait a minute. Listen, listen, the only thing is about this whole plan is that maybe he didn't actually kill Pro and he'd only pretended to stab him and Pro's fine, but he, but Ulrich, you literally did punch me in the face with, and you hit me with the back end of your sword, broke my nose and shit. That was real. Huh? That was real. You got something to explain for yourself here, buddy. You really did hit me. I'm also pretty sure our leader is not dying in our favor. Maybe, but he literally did do it. He actually did hit me. Don't think I forgot about that. It was easy enough to manipulate Draco. <laughs> I mean, he thought he was the one manipulating us, but it was my plan all along to fight by his side. After that, all we needed was this. He holds up a dagger, the same one from the car. Oh, that's why he didn't want me to touch it. Because it's one of those fake, like, you know, those like toy plastic ones that like sink into the blade. So it looks like you stab someone. I bet it's that. And stabbing it through his hand. That's when the true nature of the weapon was revealed. Rather than piercing his hand, the blade sunk into the handle. It's literally like one of those toy daggers. It was fake. Along with some chaos and acting, they believed the battle was over. The chaos, of course, was the moment the monarch used the blade. 
We pushed you toward using it so we could have our opportunity. That's really all there is to it. None of you could know until it was already over. If information was leaked, everything would be for nothing. You're free to come back to Alarinthia, but we might stay behind. It was just in our best interest to get away before they figured things out. So yeah, a new alliance, minimal casualties, and a great story. Also, you did actually beat me up. I'm not going to forget that. I'd say this was an all-around success. Yeah, tell that to my nose. Tell that to my nose, Ulrich. Yeah. I nah, he just pretended really to break. No, nah, it's literally broken. I think this might just be my masterpiece. All right. Well, they wait in silence for our response, but their faces are beaming with pride. It seemed like a simple enough plan, but it was definitely risky. The moment we set foot in the Coliseum, they were in real danger. But that only shows off their resolve that they were willing to die for this. However, something feels off about this. It's all too perfect, too convenient. I'm not sure. Ulrich was willing to throw everything away? I mean, I sided with Vivian, but that wasn't a guarantee. Had I sided with Draku, he'd lose his chance to change Alarinthia. There had to be more to the story, something they're not telling us. I'd have to talk to them in private later on. Maybe they could confide in me. But as it stood, I really, I didn't really buy their tale. Would they really risk their lives for a foreign alliance? My comrades seem to think so, and they shower them with praise. That might be the coolest thing I've ever heard. I knew you were a swindler pro, but this is crazy. You're using your skill to shape Alestia's history. And Ulrich, I never knew you were so good at acting. You really had me sold there. He did pretty, he did get a good, it. he did a good job. It felt like something was up, but to think it was this? Yeah, he really did put on a good show. Almost puts my strategizing to shame, I have to say. So what's the next step? Is it just smooth sailing now? I imagine our chances of getting caught are pretty low. You should probably tell Vivian what really went down. I doubt he'd mind, and at least he wouldn't find out another way. In the meantime, we need to have a word with our new prisoner. Oh yeah, Savi's here. I forgot about that. <laughs> right, I'll tell him while you do that then. But I think we've also earned some much needed rest. Let's take the day off and meet back up here in the morning. Okay, we're going to do that. Also, there's not that much room, so... That is, if it's okay with you, Monarch. Well, when's the last time you guys asked me to do anything? So, who cares what I have to say? Also, my nose is broken. They nod, and I tell everyone that they're dismissed. Everybody runs off except for Overkin Pro. They approach me, and they look anxious. Sylvia's in the brig, right? I can't believe he surrendered. Just like that. And I heard him say something about a mole? Let's go talk with him, Monarch. You deserve some answers. It's not Domic, is it? Because that would be weird. Yeah, let Dominic pamper Vivian for the time being. But before we head to the brig, look behind us, Monarch. It's starting to look like an impressive army, isn't it? On this one ship. I do as instructed. Notice we were accompanied by at least a dozen. Oh, there's more ships. <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay, cool. That's cool. Great. If that was the strength of our new Alarinthian army, then I was at a loss for words. That fleet combined with our own and my blade stood a real chance at Baltius but I couldn't lull myself into a false sense of security. There was still so much to do. And right now, the next step was having a word with Savi. Just what was he after? The fact that Overkin Poro volunteered to come along was pretty peculiar. The pieces have started to fall into place, but there's still quite a few gaps. Maybe this information that Savi promised would help me in some way. We all head down to the brig. I'm hopeful that I can figure all of this out. After all, I can leave no question unanswered before attacking Balteus. And resting now in our brig was the one man who knew everything about our army. If we could use him for information, then that would be an incredible boon, big bouncy boons. As we enter the brig, one fact plays in repeat, an ever running mind. With everything we just gained, we actually stand a chance at winning this war. Maybe. Are we going straight to Savi here? Is that the plan? Yes. Yes, we are. 
The brig is dark. We can't see much at all. That is, until her eyes adjust and we immediately see Sabi. He's broken from his binds and is doing pull-ups from the ceiling beam. Well, you know, you gotta stay in shape, buddy. You gotta stay in shape. Grunting with exertion, he lets himself fall to the ground when he notices our entrance. Taking a few steps towards us, he's careful not to make any sudden movements. Bro makes sure the cell door is shut and locked so he can't escape from us. My, my. I wasn't expecting an entourage. Should I be flattered or concerned for my safety? I wouldn't say it could be both. You never know. You never know. It's an obvious attempt at humor, but none of us acknowledge this. Ulrich steps forward, demanding swift answers from our captive. Explain yourself, Sobi. I'm seconds away from throwing you overboard. And maybe he can't swim? Again with the hostility. <laughs> tough crowd, tough Look, crowd. I don't even really know what I'm doing here. It just felt like the right thing to do, given the circumstances. You might need to go a little deeper than that. We don't know. Well, I know, but that's because I know everything. But these guys don't know about your latest job problems. What circumstances? Savi looks at me and shakes his head dismissively. Back when we attacked your HQ in Mazeo, my goal was to kill your friend and retrieve the blade. I failed both objectives, and the Triumvirate punished me. I see. It's true. Savi did show me mercy during our brief encounter. He had my life in his hands, but he chose to run away instead. He saw something when he touched the blade. I could tell. And now that I know the truth of the spirit realm, I think I knew what he saw. The monarchy. He must have seen the same truth that shocked all of us. I ask if that's true. Almost certain that I am correct. And he confirms. You are correct. I found out that the triumvirate was lying to me. I let you live because I wasn't sure of what to do next. I'm still uncertain. When I got back to Balteus, they punished me by placing me in exile. You expect us to believe this? Sylvie, you're nothing but a mindless slave. The monarch survived because of his strength. Well, listen, I may not have been completely honest about that. I tell Ulrich Sylvie is speaking the truth. I explain what happened while we were alone in the idol. See, Ulrich? You're always so paranoid. Listen to your friends before making snap judgments. I have a lot to say, so you better learn to trust me again. All right. Are you going to start now? Because um, don't count on it. Okay, you guys. Listen, you guys can be. You guys can be friends. You should make out. Because we've determined, Savi, you tried to kill us. True, he did. But if you two make out, I'm pretty sure everyone's going to be fine. It's just a. It's a team building exercise. He walks away and stands in the nearby corner. Sensing an opportunity, Pro enters the conversation. So, what did you want to tell us? Around here, you need to earn your keep. Ulrich was serious about throwing you overboard. <laughs> just have a passionate makeout session. Yeah, just do that. You know, it's, it's just a good way to break the ice, you know. You'll be fine. Well, That's just what the doctor ordered. It gets complicated. I still consider myself a servant to the Triumvirate. But Halen... Well, I want nothing more than to see him fall. Alrighty. Well, I think we all do. I'm not here to hurt any of you. Not this time. As you can see, even though I broke out of my binds, I am playing nice. Right now, all I can offer is information to aid your attack on Balteus. But if you're still a servant to the Triumvirate, why would you do that? That doesn't make any sense. And why would you want to help us take down the Triumvirate? That's, that's what I just said. Were you not listening? Doing so would involve taking down Listen, Halen as only well. Only the cool kids join the conspiracy on Discord. So, I can see why you are not mess. there. Just saying. And just like that one guy in Rise of Skywalker. Oh yeah, what's his well, name? Um, well, Jojo throwing in that Star Wars reference. <laughs> Are we talking about no, Poe we're and not. Finn, Rey and Kylo, no. or some unexpected duo like C-3PO and R2-D2 having a bromance? <laughs> the Force is strong no, with this No, it was what's his name? It was, uh, General, it was General Hux, right? Away. 
Hux. Time to roll out the red carpet for that epic space romance. Right. It was Hux, right? Yeah, it was, it was Hux, because Hux was uh was doing it to get at him. Yeah, General Hux. Because, uh, yeah, it was Brendel, General Brendel, and then his father was, like, also part of the Empire. And then I think he's actually in The Mandalorian. Like, the his dad's in The Mandalorian, like, for a very short amount of time. But he's there. Okay. Armitus Hux. And let's say we take down Halen. What then? You'd be reinstated as Inquisitor and just stab us in the back. Yeah, that's a good point. You speak as if people aren't capable of playing both sides. Either way, I don't know. I'd make my choice when the time comes. That is not as reassuring as you think it is. What makes you say that so easily? You've served the Triumvirate for your entire life. No, not my entire life. They welcomed me with open arms when I was young and broken. Now here they are, inflicting the same wounds they had promised to heal. Alrighty. Is that supposed to make sense to me? I don't think it made sense to anybody. I'm pretty sure he wasn't trying. No, because it barely makes sense to me. Now, Pro, will you let me say what I have to say? Sure. Give it a go. Savi sighs and crosses his arms. If you want to take down the Triumvirate, you'll have to enter their chambers. I've never seen them leave, and I don't expect that they ever will. I always thought they were hiding, but I don't think that's true. There's something at the back of their chambers. Something off. Oh, I know it's about like this a thing. It's spirit idol, but the very sight of it fills me with fear. I'm not sure what it is, but I have a few theories about it. All right. Why don't you why don't you fill us in? Tell us all about your theories. I'm shocked. He's actually telling the truth. I've seen this idol, my visions of the triumvirate. Could it really be true? Is he doubting his masters? I think that maybe it's their source of power. It's just a theory. A triumvirate that theory. Seems to be the trend lately. Either way, its destruction should be your top priority. It lines up with what I was told in my visions, but I was unsure if these visions were tricks. In them, I was drawn towards a special idol. A spirit idol in their own chambers? But those are conduits for the monarchy. It makes no sense that they'd keep one close by. Their main goal was to destroy all of the idols. <laughs> nice try, but I'm not going to believe any of this. Let's go, Monarch. We'll ditch him in Mazeo. Yeah, we'll ditch you there. We're just going to leave you at the bar and then say bye. It's, it's too bad. Bro and Ulrich start to leave, but I tell them to stop. I let them know that Savi's telling the truth, as odd as it sounded. I saw the same idols in some visions I had of the Triumvirate's chambers. Visions of the Triumvirate's chambers. When were you going to tell us about this? Probably never, unless this happened. So <laughs> maybe about the same time you guys were going to tell me about your plan. How about that? Huh? Yeah. Tell me about that plan that you didn't tell me about until now. So we're even. Savi scoffs, clearly amused at their reactions. I'm not finished yet. Okay, I'm sorry. My bad. Our bad. Our intention, our attention is directed back towards him. I suggest that your attack focuses on entering the chambers. There, you could take down both them and this dark idol. However, you would have to fight your way through Halen. And that's where my next piece of information comes in. Halen may seem just like you and I, but he's not. The Triumvirate created him with that blade. What? What? what the he was made to be the perfect soldier. He would always serve his masters. Did, no why did you think? What. Wait. Little did I know that loyalty was stronger than our friendship. No, how could you're an idiot? How could you just say that? And then be like, I didn't know that he would turn on me against the people who created him. I had no idea. He promised not to tell them what, what a happened. twist. But the moment we got home, he sold me out immediately. 
He lives under the Triumvirate's thrall, a true mindless slave. You must never let them get their hands on that blade again. They aren't limited to suits of armor. They've mastered it enough to create life. Of course, their first test was Halen. They needed someone trustworthy enough to serve them. I think they did it to ensure that nobody else ran away. My previous master... I mean, it feels kind of obvious that he would do that. Yeah, it does. And now when he says Halen what he said, I'm just sitting here like, the triumvirate. you had to know they that would happen. betrayed me. Yeah. I mean, you had to know but that was going to happen. There's your information. I'm sure it will help you out. A possible weakness and the true nature of Halen. With that blade, you could even give him freedom. I could. That would be great. I'm sure he wouldn't see it that way, it would but... would release the spell that the Triumvirate has put on him. Of course, that's not how I'd like things to play out. How would you like them to play out? He smirks at me, and I can sense about what he's about to say. I would prefer it if you let me kill him, Monarch. That is all I ask for in return. I won't get in your way. If you grant me this, I would be further in your debt. Well, I do like being people. I like in, I like accumulate. I like accumulating debt. I don't think that works. I don't like accumulating debt. And does that mean it's my debt? Mm, I don't think I'm saying this right. You know what? You just go on. We all look at each other slightly confused. Gotta try to free him. Maybe we could try to free him. The triumph created Halen to be a perfect slave. I guess that makes sense, especially if they dealt with defection. But just what was this idol at the back of their chambers? And was destroying it really the best course of action? I guess we wouldn't find out till the very end of things. So, do you trust me? Not particularly, but, you know, getting closer. We all nod reluctantly. These facts weren't revelations, but they helped. If I could free Halen, he might end up being a valuable asset. However, the idol remained the true wild card in all of this. If I ever got a chance to talk to the Triumvirate, I'd ask them. But something tells me, if we're face to face, it won't be civil. Probably not. And for all I know, it's just a trick. The idol could be a red herring. Good. Because there's two more things to talk about. Wow! And now that I've earned your trust, you have no reason to doubt them. I saved them for last because, well, it involves dishonesty among your ranks. Uh oh. It must be about the mole he mentioned. I tell him to quit dancing around the subject and tell me. We had a lot of planning to do for our final attack in very little time. Well then, do you two want to tell him? Or should I? Ah, uh, Pro and Ul Ulrich shuffle in silence, clearly in a state of unease. What was Savi talking about? There's no way Ulrich and Pro were dishonest. Well, they did just lie. They had served Domic and Salus for decades. They were easily the most trustworthy. I guess it's time. I'll go first. What the fuck? Ulrich steps forward, taking a deep breath. Savi watches with a signature smirk. My allegiance is with the Rebellion. I can promise you that. But that wasn't always the case. It's all in the past. Ages ago. Sovi is trying to harm our trust with ancient information, Monarch. I knew this was going to happen. You'd own your trust with a couple of interesting facts and then attack. This is subterfuge. My past has no bearing on my current loyalty. But I knew this secret would come out sooner or later. That's the real reason I sided with Pro to cheat the Colosseum. You'd know my loyalty was with you, no matter what. That much is true. He had no guarantee that I'd side with Vivian. He didn't have to, in the end, but he was willing to abandon his dreams. That was proof enough of his loyalty, and I was still a bit concerned. Delaying, as always. He's scared of you, Monarch. He knows you might throw him away. Listen, do you think I'm Shane? Do you think I'm Shane? I don't no. think that would work. The Monarch would never do that. 
not after what I did for our cause in Alarinthia. So go ahead, Sobi. Watch your plan crumble and fall. I notice as a weight lifts itself from my back. The blade disappears from my scabbard, and Sobi is doing it again. However, much to my surprise, that's not what happens next. Ulrich sighs, both in relief and fright, as the blade appears in his hands. I take a few steps back, shocked. How in the world was this possible? Grand Inquisitor Ulrich. That was lifetimes oh. ago. Ancient history. He's using a dead past to try and hurt us. Monarch. He's just like, don't worry about my past. Yeah, I had to be sure. Oh my god. Ulrich was Grand Inquisitor, huh? You know, I guess I'm not surprised by that. So Ulrich was probably Savi's teacher then, right? Like, oh, I see. Then he must be the the defector his Savi had mentioned. The pieces of all of this are starting to fall into place. I realized that the Triumvirate was my true enemy. And that's when I decided to join the rebellion. You really thought this would work, Sovi? I never said I was intending to hurt you. This is merely information that might help you in Balteus. Ulrich has inside knowledge, Monarch. And he can wield the blade. It's your choice if you let this information hurt you. But in your situation, I would be relieved to know. Now, there's no need to keep any more secrets. Hmm. I'm so confused right now. Was Savi helping us or trying to hurt us? No one expects Ulrich Inquisition. Savi just didn't want anyone lying. I feel like he's being a little bit... He's, he's trying to play both sides. He already said he's doing that, so he is trying to do that. Like, he's trying to, like, cause a wedge here. But I can also see how sharing this information would help us out. Furthermore, the way that Ulrich handled the situation was extremely professional. Under any other circumstance, I might have taken this information badly. But he's right. It's in the past. He's gone to prove his loyalty to me. The happening in Alorinthia finally makes full sense to me. He was securing my trust for when the, when the secret came to light. I mean, how would he know that would happen? I feel like that's a lot to kind of come by but fair enough genius really i'd have to deal with him more or deal with him later on though the conversation had potential to explode and i'm glad that it didn't i know Ulrich's a real pain but pro remained a wild card what was he after i turn to face him and he takes the signal that it's his turn to talk Ulrich passes the blade back to me and places it back in the scabbard pro looks worried perhaps his secret was a little worse than Ulrich's. go on Tell the Monarch, Pro. It's time for him to know, don't you think? He gulps before speaking. <sighs> so, I guess I'll start from the beginning. Okay. Seems like My a good place to start. abandoned me. They didn't die in the occupation like I tell everybody. I've always wanted to know one thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why? Why indeed. None of my searches gave me any useful information, so over time I grew more and more desperate. One day, the Triumvirate reached out to me. They just like called him on, they just left a message on his, no, they sent a text message, they're like, Hey, ring us back, we'll answer, hope you're doing okay, winky face, smiley face. Bro, he looks down ashamed. They said they knew the truth about my parents, but in exchange, they wanted me. Oh, hey, to give just them like the D and D campaign, it is kind of like that. He did kind of do that there, didn't he? It seemed like a harmless exchange. You're right. It's very similar. Also, so is this outfit. Bro, was the mole? But over time, they started to ask for more and more. I gave them so many secrets, but got nothing in return. It wasn't much longer before I quit. I had enough of their lies. But the damage was already done, wasn't it? Yeah. What was the last thing you leaked to them, Pro? Uh-oh. The location of our new HQ. The tunnels. It was a good hideout. Oh, no. Right under their noses. Oh, hey, hope you're all right. You know what happened to your parents? Yeah. Unless somebody told them. Winky Gecko, face, Gecko, smiley Gecko, face. Us with the deep thoughts. What's behind that? D. Face emoticon. Is it a perplexed lizard contemplating the mysteries of life? Is or it? just an epic reaction to the stream's latest plot twist? Who knows? The chat's full of enigma and intrigue today. 
Let's see what unfolds Let's next. Let's find out. Pro, you better have a good explanation for this. I'm shocked to my core. If Pro leaked our location, then that means... That's right. Pro is responsible. No! His leak enabled us to attack no! you in the Zale. All of those lives. The blood is on It's the ladder, Theo? Eyes. Probably. <laughs> no! Like I said, I quit! Bro, they how could you? To me. They no. knew nothing about my parents. All they wanted was somebody gullible enough to serve them. And you did. So... <laughs> It doesn't change what happened, Pro. <laughs> sad no, quid pro Mark. quo. He's sad pr quid pro. Pro quo. That's his last name. I bet that would be hilarious if he was like, that's my last name is Quo. My name is Pro Quo. <laughs> that would be awesome. I would love that. Hey, I, I proved my loyalty. Just like Ulrich. I put my life on the line to serve the rebellion. There was no guarantee we'd survive the Coliseum. I don't know if that's making the, the argument you think it is, but okay. I'm going to go with it. That much was true. I knew everything was too good to be true. The real reasons they did what they did were all self-serving. Bro, you did get a lot of people killed. You did. A lot of people. So they could defend themselves as they were exposed. With an ulterior motive like that, were they really trustworthy? Ulrich's past was easy to forgive, but what Pro did to all of us? I had no idea how to react. Salvi was fighting a war in my mind. Look, I made up for what I did. All those lives we lost, we got them back and more. That's not Our how it allies works. Will help us win this war. <laughs> That's not how it down. works. <laughs> wow. Okay. Pro, that is a horrible thing to say. I'm just going to put that out there. Horrible thing to say. Dude, you sometimes, you're very sweet sometimes and you can talk to people in a very like very 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 like soothing like i'll say it when you get sappy you know what you're doing but this is horrible i nod no i don't you don't just go oh yeah all those people that died i got replacements you know he's basically just like you know yeah everybody drank all the sodas out of the he's basically doing this like oh man i didn't mean to drink all the sodas out of the fridge don't worry about it i got a new 12 pack that's not the same thing as like a bunch of people died and I replaced them. Pro, they were our friends, right? They were. But I needed time to think about this. If they had secrets, did my other comrades too? I'm starting to doubt the loyalty of everyone around me. I need to stop. That's probably what Savi wants me to do. I need to ensure everyone's loyalty before we leave for Baldeus. Ulrich was the previous Grand Inquisitor. Pro was a mole responsible for the attack in Mizeo. How was I supposed to deal with this right before the final battle? I ask Ulrich and Pro to leave me alone with Savi. We get some rest and meet the meet on the deck in the morning. One big gathering before we arrive at Mizeo would help. I can see the worry on their faces. I tell them I'm not throwing them away. As they leave, the worry is still there, however. Their secrets were finally out. I don't know if anybody else knew, but I guess I was enough. I'm in charge. I turn back to Savi, who crosses his arms. So much dishonesty in the air. Wouldn't you agree? I want you to look at your comrades and then look at me. Unlike them, I've been nothing but honest with you. Yeah, but you also, like, were the one who killed everybody there, so... Yeah, maybe Pro was, like, the one who told you the, the address. You came there and killed people. So that, that makes you worse even so. So just know that. I would rather have an honest enemy than a cheating friend. That's part of why I wanted to talk with you, Monarch. I know that we can be open with one another. Are you asking me on a date? I'm not saying I would say no. But it would be kind of a rocky start for one. I shake my head, unsure of how to respond. I tell him that I need some rest. Some time alone. Savi, you got Shane to betray us. I mean, he didn't have to try that hard. That's the thing about it. He didn't really have to try that hard. Literally, all Shane needed to know was like, they talked some shit about me. Those people gonna die. <laughs> so much was happening all at once. I need a break. Very well. We're meeting on the deck come morning then. I'll make sure to be on my best behavior. 
I respect you, monarch. I always told myself that I'd serve the rightful rulers of this world. That could have multiple meanings. <laughs> I kind of, it's kind of weird. It never occurred to me that Pro could be a double agent and then freed and then feed the triumvirate false information at some point. I mean, it is kind of weird. I never thought that too. You know, that was actually a bit of a surprise, but I was trying to think of like who the, like who would do that. And like part of me thought it could be one of two people. I thought it could like in some weird twist, I thought in my head it could be Domic. Like there's a part of me who could see that, but I don't know what his motive would be. And then I was like, the only other person that made sense was Pro. But I didn't want to believe it, I guess. It just seemed like I was also lied to by the Triumvirate. Just like Ulrich. Just like Pro. We're victims here. All of us. I may have realized it late, but was it too late? I guess we'll see. We shall see. His attitude seems to have changed now that we're alone. And for the first time, I can sympathize with him. He's hurt and lost. Just like Shane too, right, Savi? Just like Shane. 100%. I mean, like, rather than call it quits, Pro could still have made it up for pretending to be a mole still, but then get bad info. That's a good point. He could have done that. But I guess this probably threw... This, this right here obviously ends that. Like, he can't do that now, because everybody would know. Or, I mean, I guess, like, I don't know if they would know. It's all, I mean, there's, I don't know, it's probably too late. Just like all of us, we were trying to do what we believe is right. I tell him that he's free to join us at the meeting in the morning, but everybody will be told who he is. It'll be up to the side, or for them to decide how to take it. If the majority of my comrades want him gone, then we'll have to part ways in Maseo. Very well. It's only fair. Have a good rest. You could have Monarch. also lied about the location and set a trap. Yeah, but I think I think before that, I guess the problem there is Jojo is I think before that point he was like legit a mole and he wasn't trying to deceive them. So I think it was probably too late at that point. He bows to me and as I turn to leave the cell, I make sure it's locked. He'd be let out in the morning. For now, I needed to be alone in my thoughts. I needed to process everything. That's a lot. I make my way back to my bed and quickly collapse into it. The weight of the recent events weighs me down like a ton of bricks. At the end of the day, I didn't know who I could really trust. It's awful. Ulrich and Pro, two of my most trusted comrades, had dark secrets. It makes me wonder just what everyone else was hiding. Even Valesa and Fortame. You know what? I bet Fortame... Fortame can't climb. I bet he's like a horrible climber. I bet... I bet he's lying about that. I bet he's lying about that. When we got back to Mizeo, I need to ensure their loyalty before we attack Balteus. Oh, it's a good thing I got all these loyalty missions. That would be the ultimate plot twist. Yeah, Fortame's just like, okay, so I know I said I climb... But turns out I've never done that. And I don't know why I got these claws. I just thought they look cool. And I don't think it's safe for me to do that. Uh, it, you know, turns turns out he's afraid of heights. Yeah, that would be horrible. He's like, yeah, it turns out uh, being on like a 10 foot rock scares the shit out of me. So can't have that. Oh, good. To ensure their loyalty. I love this. They're like, well, it's a good thing you've got all those loyalty missions you got to do. We couldn't embark on the biggest part of our journey with unresolved issues. Everybody needed to be in tip-top shape, not held down by anything at all. As big as Ulrich and Pro's secrets were, it's information we didn't have before. Information we could use against our enemy, even against Balteus. We were too close to our goal to fall apart due to internal politics. I drift off to sleep and make my way to the deck in the morning. It was time for everybody to know about Savi. Then we'd have a final discussion about what comes next. We were ready to launch our attack, but what should we do? 
Good question. Everybody is standing there as if they're waiting for me to arrive. Pineapple on pizza. I don't know, Thanos. That could get some reactions. You never know. They exchange glances with Savi, who... <laughs> and unease fills the air. I don't blame them for being reserved right now. Not at all. They all turn to face me. That's when I notice... Um, I hand a floor... That's when... Or they all turn to face me, and that's when I hand the floor to Savi. If he wanted to help us out, he had to win over my entire crew. The choice was with me, but all of their input was important. All of us gather around in a sort of circle. This means he can easily address all of us. I'm curious what he had to say. A lot is on the line. My name is Sovi. Hi, Sovi. Or was the Grand Inquisitor. I no longer serve the Triumvirate. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I was uh -huh. betrayed by my apprentice. He sold me out forcing my masters to place me in exile. They threw me away. Everything they ever told me was a lie. I thought they were Alestia's rightful rulers, but then I figured out that this wasn't true. The heir to the throne is the monarch. That's me. I am a victim of their tyranny, just as you are, all of you. I hope you understand. I'm still at a loss. I don't really know what to do with myself. But coming here to meet with you and the monarch seemed like a good idea. Last night, I also revealed some information that could help your upcoming attack. I just need to know that I belong somewhere. Attacking the Triumvirate will involve taking down Halen. We share a common purpose. At least until he's taken care of. After that, I really don't know. I've always pledged my loyalty to the rightful ruler of Alestia. Logic would dictate that I now serve the monarch. But I don't know. I'm having an identity crisis. He literally is. He's having an identity crisis in real time. We don't know what's going on here. The Triumvirate can throw people away at the snap of a finger. But I'm not like that. What they did was hurt me almost beyond repair. I will help you attack Balteus and take down Halen. You have my word. But after that, I don't know what will happen. In that sense, I am both an asset and a liability. If you want me to leave, then that's what I'll do. When we get to Maseo, you'll never see me again. That is, unless you want my help. I can offer valuable intel. It's a gamble for both you and me. I don't fully trust you either. <laughs> well, listen, Ayla, okay. I feel like, feel like, uh, that's kind of a weird way to sell it. You know what I mean? Feels a little weird way to sell it, but... Fair enough. Um, all right. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Give me your thought. He's big on never seeing him in anything again. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying... I could see it. I could see him being helpful. I don't know if it's a good idea, but, hopefully but I've earned a sliver of trust with the monarch. If he vouches for so me, you come to us. You will Jojo, as well. Calling out Sovi on the trust that issues. Is all. I don't like trust you, card. Right? right? Is in the drama, your hands. the tension, the betrayal. I have nothing will Sovi more to be say. able to redeem themselves in the lemur conspiracy's eyes, or is this the beginning of a lemur civil war? <laughs> the conspiracy <laughs> thickens. Oh no! Not the lemur civil war. Not anything but the Lemur Civil War. We can't have that. No. Yeah, you watching. I see you. If you have not hit follow, I don't know. He crosses his arms, it? waiting Come for on. our reply. My comrades are shocked and confused. Save for Pro and Ulrich. I ask them to step forward one by one and offer their thoughts on this. For once, I have the grasp of the entire situation. This is how things should be. 
Like Savi said, I was the rightful ruler. I couldn't have people being dishonest and plotting behind my back. I don't think um, we're on the verge of a lemur civil war, but maybe I can. Uh, maybe, I guess. I mean, you never know. You never know. I honestly didn't expect this, but nothing has been normal lately. I'm willing to give Sovi a chance. I did the same thing with Grizz. His defection marked a turning point for our cause. What do you guys a think in one. chat? Guys, tell me what you guys think. Should we let Sabi join? Or is he too much of a problem? Should we do it? I'm going to give... You guys have to vote. All right, hold on. Let me do this. Actually, I should be... I should have been doing this the whole time. This is what I should have been doing. This is how you do it. All right, here we go. God damn it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go a little bit less than that. All right, guys. Here it is. Tell me what you think. You got two minutes. You got two minutes. All right. Where's my thing? I saw it. Okay. If he can help us out, then I think we need to accept it. And Having three people can use the blade would be very powerful. Also, he's been conflicted the whole game, which is knowing he's that he's kind of cheating. Yeah, that's true. We did kind of know that, but he's been cheating. But that is cheating this by knowing that. Is clearly a trap. We request that you deny his assistance. He's alone now, but he won't be when we arrive in Baltius. If we give him information, he'll turn on us once we get there. Surely we aren't the only one who thinks this way. An alliance with our enemy mere days before our attack. It's too convenient. Sovi is playing us for a fool. He might be. You never know. I'm with Hal on this one. We can't work with the enemy. This is the man that killed you and burned down Valinorth in your vision. No, it was a trick, but the yeah. man is the same. <laughs> yeah, Savi, killer. what is your opinion on lemurs? If there was a lemur civil war, what side would you be on? For that reason, I can't accept his offer. Fortum, you're with me, right? It, it, no, let me vote, but I trust him. Why didn't it let you vote? It's still there. You could still vote. You should have a vote. Yeah. It should let you vote. I don't know why it wouldn't. What is it doing to him? Well, to be fair, thankfully, uh, Nicko, you were Nicko, able to Nicko. see into Savi's shenanigans earlier. Shenanigans. It's blank when it's I like click vote. Version of Sherlock That's weird. Holmes uncovering mysteries left hmm. and right. I don't know. Will Gecko 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 be the detective that saves the day? Or I don't know. Sobe Gecko, are you Sherlock Holmes over ahead? there? The plot thickens and the drama unfolds. I will say yes is the winner. Okay, we got we got yes. That's the I winner, guys. Know, Vanessa. I think everybody deserves a second chance. We all had that moment when we turned against the triumvirate. Why is wait a minute, so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Have that moment. So, kind of do know everything, but he said is, wait a minute, okay, I'm surprised by Fortame's answer here, because wasn't he just like, just not that long ago, basically being like, Ulrich, you get no second chance because you killed Pro, and like, Savi's done way worse than that, and then he's like, yeah, but he get, he, everybody gets a second chance. I don't, Fortain, I feel like you're kind of dancing both sides of this pole here, buddy. Uh, so, I don't know about that. He worked so closely with them. He's seen their true nature. He has more knowledge on them than anybody else in our army. It makes sense that he'd come to the same realization as us. Uh, sure. I mean, sure, it took a while longer, but that's because he served them. Worst case, an but enemy of an enemy is my friend, so he might betray you after take clear. out Halen, but you should be that's smart enough to have a backup plan before that. Hopefully we do. Uh... Yeah, I'm with Fortem. Everybody deserves a second chance. You would say no that before. right now. You've all made a wrong decision or two. Yeah, There's some no of us have made worse decisions than others, right huh, thing. bro? Uh, Savi should help up to that point, at least probably. Yeah. yeah I, I, this is a convenient statement for Pro right now. 
Bro, you don't get an opinion. Seriously, this is not... This is, pretty, this is a pretty convenient thing for you to say right now. Sobe isn't concerned with doing the right thing. He's a liar, plain and simple. There's no way we can trust him. He turned on us the moment we arrived in Balteas. That's a guarantee. Yeah, but... Who taught him this, Ulrich? Who taught him that? Letting him close to us now would only enable him to gather information. You know what I mean? If he knows our Who strategy, taught him that? He can counter us with the Inquisition when we arrive. It's a death sentence, Monarch. Don't be foolish. We've come too far to risk this. It seems like my comrades are divided, but with good reason. I was hoping for some more, something more unanimous in any given direction. It was clear now the pressure and the final decision rested on my shoulders. Well, Monarch. All right. I'm going to, I, I did do a vote, so I will honor that vote. Uh, that is an interesting choice. I feel like I don't know if I trust Savi, but I also think it's better to accept his health or help in this point. And then we'll like, like Gecko said, we'll just need to keep a close eye on him so that if he does try to screw us over, then that's when we have to be ready to go. But I'm going to, I'm going to let him do it. I'm going to let him do it. You know what? I'm so... You know what? Hold on. I don't think we're going to need to use that. But I'm going to go with it. Also, hidden benefit. More flirting options? True. <laughs> there may be more flirting options. The information you could offer us would make us so much more stronger. If we get a suspicious... Or we get so, if we got suspicious of him before the attack, we could easily outnumber him. Very well. He takes a few steps back and rests against the edge of the boat. A few minutes later, after everything is said and done, we arrive in Museo. Great timing! How perfect! The docking process is short, since our pirate allies are masters of the art. Domic steps forward, filling the silence with an over that overtook our ranks. Well, this is it. We're ready to attack Balteus. Everything we've ever wanted is finally within our grasp. The voyage will take a day or two, so we can plan on the way. For now, we need to ensure that we leave no stone unturned. Visit with your loved ones, say your goodbyes, because this is it. Once we leave for Balteus, our fates are as good as sealed. His words are true, but fill the air with tension. The dawn of our final battle was here, and we needed to prepare. But planning for the attack was easy. One true task was accepting our possible death. This means saying goodbye and spending a day or two with our friends or with our friends. I should use this opportunity to make sure everybody is prepared for the final battle. As the leader, it is my job to ensure that we were all up to the task, no matter what. I don't think there's anything left to say. Finish up your business and we'll set sail when the monarch demands it. Act under the assumption that you only have one or two days before departure. I don't want to rush anything as important as a goodbye, but every moment we waste is a moment for our enemy to prepare. I trust that we'll find a happy medium and embark without regret. Okay. Everybody nods, agreeing with his words. I can't believe that time was finally here. Until now, it seemed like a dream. Out of reach. But it's right in front of me. This is it. Our journey was in the final hours. I tense up with worry. We make our way off the boat, embracing what little time we have left. Loyalty scenes are now available for the six main party members. Howell has a fourth heart-to-heart -heart that is hidden in one of the previous areas. Oh, come on. Loyalty scenes can be ex accessed by clicking the character icon in the war table. Fast travel has now been unlocked, allowing easy navigation to Olestia. A new blue icon has appeared in the top left. Click it to move the to the world map. The world map allows for an easy navigation between every other map in the game. The world map is also how you will launch your final attack on Baltius. Clicking the Baltius map icon will give you the choice of entering Act 5. However, it is best to do this once you've satisfied the content you've done. Savi is now permanently joined your party! A series of heart-to-hearts have been hidden. Oh, guys, we're going to be searching for everywhere on these things. 
The loyalty scene has been added. Access like normal from the war table. Well, we're here now. Wait. Oh, wait. We were, no, this is not it. Okay. So this is all stuff we've already done. So I guess the only thing... Wait. Move to the world map? I guess. Oh, what's this? Okay, I see how this works. So... Alright. So I gotta find all these things, like these freaking options. Alright. Alright, let me... Let me go to the Rebel HQ. Don't know if it's a good idea to come back here, but... We'll see. War table. Okay. All right. So, as we can see, I can work with everybody, but I got to but before I do that, I still got to find all of your shit. And I got to find all your shit. Hmm. Okay. So, interesting. Let me check something here. Nope. Wait. Okay. Crew quarters? It's none of these. Huh. So I gotta find all these things. So here's my guess. And I'm gonna make a guess here. I'm gonna make a guess here. I bet... I bet Howl's thing is going to be here. In the village. And I'm going to guess it's here. At the Great Tree. I was wrong. Okay. I was definitely wrong. Maybe it's not... Maybe. Shit, I gotta go everywhere to find this. Uh, wait, wait. I have another thought. What if it's here? Bam! Hell yes! They're letting me do new stuff here. Wait, but none of them are what I think they are. It's not what I think. Crap. Parallel... Chronicle Domic? But then... Parallel Chronic Savi 2? Wait, did we just like... Hold on. Is this like old stuff that I just missed? This feels like old stuff I missed. Hey. It is. But I swear we had these conversations. We definitely had we had these conversations, didn't we? I feel like we had we definitely had these conversations. There's no way we did not have these conversations. There's literally no way. What? I thought you I could have sworn I did. Some don't smell right. Uh, I found one of them though. I found one. Okay. All right. What is this? On the map? Okay. Either we missed a shit ton here and I'm an idiot, which is possible. Like, it is very possible. I don't remember having a conversation with Pro here. When did that happen? I don't remember that. When did... Maybe. All right. Hmm. I mean, maybe I missed some of this stuff. I don't know. Okay. 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 So, that is something we're going to have to do in the next episode because we're going to have to go through and find all these things and then make all this stuff happen. So I think that is a good place to kind of call it for this week, right? 
I think that's what Ulrich told you to go when he told Ulrich to go to you. Oh, that's right. He did. You're right. Uh, off on a, oh, a cliffhanger, kind of a cliffhanger. It's a good stopping point because now we're going to have to go do a lot of this other things to get all of these loyalty missions done. And then we can maybe do the ending one. So we may be, it's possible. It is entirely possible, right? That the next episode is the last episode of winds of change. I don't know. It depends on how long the last like section five is. Cause we are going to have to do a lot of this stuff, but I feel like we're going to be getting close to this, right? So, whoop. so it seems like a good spot to call it for today, though, but we're going to be back tomorrow. If you guys weren't around earlier or on the discord, which you should be on the discord, if you're not, uh, then you would know we're going to do a special phasmophobia, um, yeah, phasmophobia stream tomorrow with C. James Fox. It should be a good time. Ooh, woo, indeed. Thank you, Thanos. But also, thanks for the stream. I'll see you later in all. Yes, indeed. But big thank you to Redacted Cat for the raid tonight. That was awesome. I'm really happy about that. And then also, Stanky Llama, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, it's been a good, good fun time. Stinky boy. What? That's not true. Maybe. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to send you guys over to Arctic Chillin, who's playing a little Gunfire Reborn. So you guys give them the old Leem That Streams welcome. And I will see you guys uh, next time. Until then, until then. Why am I not finding them? Oh, I see.